Oh, hello. 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 Welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to Shenanigans, that sort of fairy tale D&D campaign where you contribute to the chaos. I am Angela, your DM for this evening, and uh, welcome to Tuesday Nights, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hello, players. How are you well, all doing today? I'm doing well. So, so good. Indeed. Good stuff. <laughs> all right. It's Tuesday. Doing all right. All right. Mm. I hope everybody in chat is doing very well this evening as well. Um, we are here for chapter 23, Over the Clockwork Wall. Um, real quick, though, before we get started, let's, uh, let's, it's, it's almost, it was Easter, it wasn't Thanksgiving, but I wanted to give thanks for the reason we're all here, um, you know. Uh, we're part of the Nerdsmith Network. You can find more about us at nerdsmith.org. Or if you like the show tonight and you want to continue to support us, not just through uh, donations during stream, you can find us at Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash nerdsmith. Uh, we will, we will, I put it down in my brain, have bonus content up uh, this week. Uh, partly because we will have something to share, which will be in game tonight. Um, I will, Excitement. I will send it to you now, Tessa, so you can try to put it on the, sh the screen. Can you, if you go into studio mode, you have the other screen so you can play with it. I'll send yes, it. I can. Um, so <laughs> we are sponsored also by a couple of really incredible companies run by some really incredible people. Uh, first and foremost, Eldritch Foundry. Uh, a really lovely fantasy miniature builder online where you can print out, you can get 3D printed versions of your miniatures, but you can also get digital copies for use in maps or like how we have on our headers uh, for little portraits of your characters. Um, we we colored these lovely models, but we, uh, we did a nice little redesign recently of our characters so you can see our delightful party. Um, we are also sponsored by world anvil absolutely incredible world campaign management software um if you are a writer or a gm and you want to create a repository of all the information about your campaign you can do so at world anvil uh you can start for free with some really incredible features but if you want to get special customized things like custom urls or some more style options to really customize your experience and your reader's experience, you can become a guild member. Guild members help kind of craft where the site goes. Um, and I know recently they were having some voting on their Discord channel for new features they would like to start rolling out. So there's a lot of really fun stuff going on all the time over at World Anvil. So please check them out and light up the forge. We have a continuing saga, though, I we will do. say. We do. Tessa, do we have updates on this continuing saga? We do. One of the reasons that I was uh, not present last week was that we had finally, finally gotten a hold of Robert, and the copper-purple alloy dice are once again in our possession. And Excellent. as a thank you for all of your hard work and helping us decipher these clues, I am going to ask everyone in chat to take a look real quick at our final clue, which was a unscramble of Sherbet Tilt Howl. And if you send me either on Twitter at Sulky Dreams or just a message here all through Twitch, what your guess for what Sherbet Tilt Howl might uh, unscramble to as it pertains to Die Hard Dice, I will throw your hat in throw your name into a hat and draw it tomorrow for you guys to win a set of win that set of dice but before we uh say anything else about the copper purple alloy it is a new month and therefore we have a new set now angela i, I have a quick yes. question for you yes you uh you have a master's degree correct 
I do in Googling things. Yes, uh, I believe that was particularly library science. Yes, technically. Yeah, did you know that today is National Librarian Day? No, I did not. So happy, Nas exciting. happy National Librarian Day. Um, oh, thank you. I, I do have to say that I'm pretty sure that this month's dice were named with you in mind. Really? Yes. Well, we know that April 22nd is Earth Day. Mm -hmm. April 6th is National, you know, Librarian Day. Clearly, we are mm -hmm. all fools for your amazing creations. Oh, wow. And you're also, your birthday is this month, so clearly these dice were named after you. I give you the Spellbinder Gaia set. Ooh. Ooh it's one of the metal sets. Yeah. They are a beautiful blue-green shimmer yeah. die with a platinum piping. Um, and given that you are a literal goddess, a creator of many worlds, oh my, these are definitely yours. So I'm just going to hold on to these for you until the end of the month, and then I will be shipping them to you. What? You? Because I love you. No way. That's yep. dumb. You're dumb. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that new girl is. <laughs> but if you guys want your own set. Dumb of the Aww. Spellbinder Gaia, you can go to dieharddice.com and use the coupon code nerdsmith-apr for 10% off your order of the Spellbinder Gaias. And even if you don't order the Spellbinder Gaia, if you use that code, you'll still get 10% off. But seriously, that's, that's incredibly sweet. Thank you. Aww. Also, APR, not to be confused with like a car commercial. Anyway. Right. <laughs> I know. So, I, you know, in, in case you want it to, the uh, the box might come with it as well if you are <gasps> so inclined. I'm guessing that's from Jinx. Yes, it is. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I guess I'm going to cross off that level 20 monster I was going to throw at y'all tonight since you're Thank so you. nice. <laughs> Yeah, I might as well be nice. Yay. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay. I don't I don't have anything to follow it up with other than like thank you. <laughs> um so we are um gonna get started then. Uh since our beloved Paru was T posed last time, uh we'll go over real quick what happened last week. So last week on chapter 22 of Shenanigans, uh, Fugue in Fey Minor, um, the party found themselves on the other side. Oh, yes. Totally forgot about that. Tessa, could you do the contribute to the madness thing real quick? Contribute to the chaos? Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's totally fine. Uh, check out chat, everybody. I totally forgot about this. Thank you, Heather. Um, so, if you'd like to support the show, but also have a little bit of nonsense, join us this week. Um, you can contribute to the chaos by tipping the show. Uh, $5 allows uh, the players to add a re-roll of a d20 to their dice pool. Um, Kyle, if you want to see how many you guys have right now. Oh, sure. One um, uh, there you go. You have been contributed to the chaos. Oh, thank you. So you can see over here, I think. Um and you can, at $10, you can have us spin the Wheel of Causality, which is a wild magic table that the players delight in, I'm sure. And uh, yeah. it allows for some, some random things to happen to the players, but also the characters, so we'll see what happens. Um, at $25, uh, you can help me create a new NPC for the session. Uh, just give me the name, appearance, pronouns, and a fun detail about them, and I will incorporate them into the session. Uh, fifty dollars is DM ex machina. Uh, choose one of our party members, and they get thirty seconds of DM powers, uh, just to do with as they please. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, it's been really fun, and I'm excited to have them do it again. Um, and those are the ways that you can contribute. Uh, Kyle, how many rerolls does the 
does the party have right now? The party has seven. And Angela has one. No. Uh, Do I? I think I spent it. Then Angela has none. Zero. I'm pretty sure I spent it because... uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I spent it because somebody got a nat one last night or last week, and, and I got kittens. Yeah, oh, kid, no. and Valaine, and Valaine. Oh no! Uh, it was great. Uh, it was a stealth check. Oh no! <laughs> so speaking of, let's review what happened last week. The party found themselves outside the wall of Chronogram Two, and now out in the wild world, they were trying to get away from uh, from the city and and out of this the reach and eyes of whatever security that the mechanist authority might have as you found yourselves at this sort of emergency maintenance train stop um you piled out finding that you were in the middle of a marshy field almost bog like um that was covered in fog you couldn't see very well um, however, a couple of uh, eagle-eyed members of the group saw a light shining and traveling around. Uh, and what looked like a uh, mounted person, a mounted guard maybe, uh, with a light traveling around, eventually you realized, well, not more than one thing, you realized there was more than one light traveling in the fog. Uh, and you also discovered that they were in fact clockwork centaurs of the Mechanist Authority, and they were just patrolling you did your best with a bit of quick thinking from harland digging a trench through the foggy uh field uh you all ducked underneath eye level and uh and snuck around for the most part successfully give or take a couple of uh, blunders um nat ones not anyone else's fault but mine and uh and you found yourselves almost at the edge of the forest before you started hearing galloping coming down the trench at you, uh, as it seems that one of the centaurs discovered your escape plan. Uh, Oliette managed to, with another nat one, Oliette managed to uh, to trick a uh, the centaur into looking the other direction, and uh, you were free to move about the forest. Uh, It was all sort of covered in fog, though. As you got through the forest, you looked at the maps that you had acquired, and you couldn't read them. They were basically jumbles. Everything was shifting. You couldn't read anything on the maps. And hoping, praying that this was the case, you made your plan to get as far from the fog and get through the fog. Hopefully the maps would become legible after exiting the fog that perhaps this was just an extension of whatever memory magic was cast on people in the chronograms that was keeping you from knowing what was outside so after a bit of rest a bit of camping um terrifying bipedal um dinosaur horses uh, which i think are amazing but everyone else hates um uh, Beza caught one and you all ate it. Um, and it was, they have sharp teeth, Tessa. They're carnivorous. <laughs> they were carnivorous, okay? Excuse me. I am the perfect height to ride. A you were the perfect dinner. right to get at. Oh. No, 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 no. Big horse. They were oh, horse. big horse. Horrifying. Okay. Horse sized with, um, with raptor claws. Like those. Uh, yeah, okay. they were called equestrodons, which is from an actual like homebrew that somebody made a bunch of creatures, and they're super cool. rad. Are they um, beasts? They are beasts. Can I turn into them now since I've seen them? Yes, you can. Awesome. I'll find you a stat for them. Thank you. Uh, so, um, <laughs> I was like, nope, nope. Um, but you make your way out of the fog, and you found yourself in a beautiful uh, Jurassic Park sort of situation looking at this lovely field Um, inside. There's some mountains on the edges. You're leaving this large sort of, um, uh, it was was kind of a banyan forest or a mangrove forest. Um, You were leaving that space and through the mountains, you got a glimpse of the coastline. You're up on a hill 
and you're looking down and you can kind of see the coast, see the beach, see the ocean, something none of you have ever seen. You've heard about it or you've seen it in the in the book. You've seen it in the fa uh, in the fable book, but but yeah, it's this incredible view. And as you all just sort of take it in, Oliet's like, fuck it, we're going to the beach and starts beach marching party. towards the beach. Um, it is a couple of miles um, to the beach. Um, only two hours from the beach. Um, you will be uh, traveling there this episode. So, as you all travel, um, start marching down this hill it is very weird and very empty there's a lot of nature just not no people that you can see um it is a it as i said last week it is reminiscent of the first time you all got a good view of the book of fables world it's very impressive and very it's untouched, which is really the concerning part that you, you know, have spent your entire lives here. And yet it seems like the, the whole story that the Mechanist Authority has been feeding everybody that it's chaos and danger outside. I mean, maybe it's dangerous, but it's beautiful. It's just very... Not that you were buying into it at this point. Um, but having a visual proof of that is, it's a lot to digest. So yeah, traveling and uh, you have, uh, you have quite a, you have a couple hours of travel ahead of you. You can see it just because it's kind of downhill and you've got wide open view. Uh, to the beach. So, do you all do anything? Talk about anything on your... What is the lane's reaction to this? Like, do they seem just as kind of blown away? Or does this is this not as impressive to them, perhaps? They, they have that sort of quiet awe reaction that... I hate to keep drawing parallels, but Nickit also had that sort of like... Okay, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he... Especially um, given that he probably um, got the ersatz eye um, back in <laughs> um, before you guys got up for the, the morning. Um, yeah, they're... Um, they're taking it in. They're taking their time. You can, you can kind of see they're, they're sort of following along the, the mountains as you're walking, kind of just staring out that way. Yeah, because you said we're kind of in like a valley, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I'll probably fly some of the way because I don't, the grass is kind of tall and I would like. It's making me, my legs itchy. <laughs> my fishnets. <laughs> Sure, sure. So yeah, you're uh, you're kind of fluttering around. Um, Harlan, this does not feel unusual for you. This kind of feels like you're on the road, on the road again, etc. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're not. Uh, it's it's kind of relaxing, more than it is sort of intense or impressive. <laughs> Um, are we like going down a hill right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Paru, is there a path or is it just grass? All oh, the way it's down? just open field. It's just open field. Perfect. Paru is going to lay down and okay. <laughs> like you ever do that when you were oh a kid, just roll down the hill. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. yes, yeah, what she's doing. Yeah, great. Um, go ahead and give me a dex, uh, dex. Acrobatics check. You're actively doing something. Alrighty, alrighty. Because I have no self control. Of course not. Five. Fun in that. You hit a you hit a log. Ow. 
<laughs> you do that thing where you're rolling and then you start turning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, fun. no, 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 no. <laughs> Hit a tree on your way down. Ow. Um, you take a point of bludgeoning damage. She's still <laughs> laughing the entire time. Worth it. Was that worth it? Yes. Wayne shouts down at you. <laughs> okay. Uh, he kind of trots down carefully, trying not to, trying not to trip. Like go, running down a hill is is not a great, not a great plan either. Plan. Um, it's just like, yeah, it was that was that was graceful. I never said I was graceful, but that was fun. Is what it was. Yeah, can't wait to find out what kind of like fire ants they have around here. Huh? That'll be good to know. She <laughs> puts his hand out to help you up. <laughs> like, that's dumb. That's she, so dumb. She grabs it and pulls herself up. Dusts herself off. I mean, I'm walking out here barefoot. I would have found the fire ants anyway. This was just a more interesting and Full direct body experience. Yeah, you know, you gotta get out there. Get, get, get deep into the wilds. Really get to be one with nature out here. I mean, you got a point. I guess. Does she, does she? Does she though? Like, he's grinning I mean, the whole time though. He's not. He's clearly not like seriously trying to belittle her. It's just. I do admit that sinking your toes into the the loamy soil every once in a while is a is a fine thing. Mhm. Mm Can't be too lonely when there's bugs everywhere. That's true. Loamy. It's different. That's different from lonely. L loamy. Yeah, it's like it's like moss. It's like a word for mossy. Oh, that's it's like a that's like a two silver word, right? Yeah, Tuck taught it to me. I, I never I never heard it before or since, but you what? know he, it he said it was it it dirt like like grassy dirt. Oh, why don't you just say dirty? Well, it's typically it's, really I'm, like fertile good dirt. It's like a step above dirt. It, is dirt dirty? No, dirt is natural. Yeah, it's just like water, it can't be wet. Exactly. You're really impressed that that is something that uh, Toshi has come to the conclusion of. <laughs> Par was delighted. You are water very smart. Can't be oh, wet. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because um, wet means... Okay, so Toshi gets all in this with you, Harlan. And Toshi goes, so... so you can something a thing or a person can can get wet which means to have water on you but right. water can't have water on it it's water but i mean i've always i mean you can pull more water onto water i mean can you yeah but then that's just more water the water's not wet well, well what happens if it's way? raining Rain, raining on like a lake or something still water well it's two different kinds of water And Nicket walks behind Toshi, makes eye contact with you, Harlan, and goes. <laughs> <laughs> walk by. Oh. Don't hurt yourself, Harlan. It's I wouldn't. You don't have to. We can you can think about it tomorrow if you wanted to. You could stop thinking about it for now. Mm -hmm. Think about mm -hmm. it again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll let come it, back to it. Let it ruminate a little bit. Yeah. Kick, yeah, kick it around a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's 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 room room in there, all right. Oh, yeah. that, that is okay. Yep. yep. It's definitely an interesting concept, though. Does that mean I can't be stony? Well, no, because 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 no. But can you get stoned? Um. Nick, it's like we we're gonna no no on. like with rocks with rocks not like that we're also gonna move on from that thank you <laughs> let's let's not let's not be stoned no I'm not like Nick, like you. she's she's already built like so if we put more rocks on her muscles does she become more built like you know like that that that's what I meant okay. that's not what you meant. Nick, Nick, Nick puts, Nick flops 
Toshi's ears down like a Scottish fold. Because <laughs> like, we're we're like we're like children. You do know that, right? Like like you you've processed. Uh, that. You also t- tried to rob me blind, so I'm not really concerned about your innocence if you don't mind. I grew up with mushrooms. Yeah. Take the earmuffs off, Toshi. I, can't stop. I grew up with right. mushrooms. So, yeah. Nick, Nick, it just walks by you, continues walking down the hill, goes, Yeah, a lot of this can kill you. I know. Yeah, but Stiffs is a good fighter. Yeah, he is. I'm not going to ask questions. <laughs> Keeps walking down the hill. So you all keep traveling. Um, you find yourselves um, lower and lower into the um, into the valley, and there are a number of uh, sort of landmarks to to be seen. Um, you see uh, one. You see the mountains that are sort of surrounding you all around um the forest sort of getting smaller and and by here from here you can kind of see it it sort of um starts to fade a little bit because it's got that fog so as you get further away from it it's harder to kind of point out the details in the forest and as you're walking the lane um Valene takes out um, from from their little hand extra dimensional space, uh, takes that map back out and sort of unscrolls one of them um, and, and kind of slows down as he's just sort of reading as you're walking. Angela, let me know when you would like me to do the thing. Not that one yet. I will let you know. Okay. Well, see anything interesting? Uh, yeah. There's... Hold up. And he... He... He takes out, in his hand, he takes out a, like, a pen, basically. Um... Actually, it's probably a piece of charcoal. Take out a piece of charcoal. Starts. Looks like he's counting. So yeah, there's this um, one of these maps is like old timey Thuria. There's like cities and names and shit. Cool. Well, so, you know that's that's one thing to you can look around, see if anything's still here. How many big cities are on the map? A bunch. Like a lot. But I know where your brain's going. Which is why the other map is a bit more concerning. You can put it up on the screen now, Tessa. One second. I will post it in uh, in our private There we go. It is on screen. So this is the other map that uh, Valaine shows you all. Um, there are also, and, and I will have this updated, there are also cities and things on it. Um, but there are wounds in the land. Mm. Sort of added to this one. Isn't that where the chronograms are? Yeah. I mean... Oh, shit. Did it say that they put them on top of fissures of chaos, right? Huh. They built them to stopper them up. So that's where they went. I mean, if... I mean, you get a splinter, you gotta dig it out. You can't just... You can't just, you know, put a glove over it and hope for the best. Yeah, you'd think that's how they'd think, but... I mean, to be fair, though, the mana drones and everybody from the Mechanist Authority that wasn't already here, they're not exactly organic. They don't have the same problem. 
if they have some sort of injury or a piece is broken, they just replace it. Maybe it's too big of a problem. That could be. I mean, maybe it definitely are... is like a big problem. But then, like, maybe it's not just the island. Maybe they're just trying to keep it as long as they can. I don't know. Who knows how the hell they think? Wait. But then, why, why are they? I mean, why they change everybody's memory? If, if they are plugging up something that needed to be plugged up, why they? Why they feel the need to make us f forget all about it? Because they decided to do it without asking. I mean, if you eliminate any political opposition that there could be, theoretically, you could do whatever you want. Well, not only that, but didn't Kimball say something about that their, like, original plan wasn't necessarily a bad one because they helped contain the chaos, but then they went too far? So what if part of the problem is that, you know, they stopped the chaos, which was a good thing, but then they wanted to make everything incredibly orderly and, you know, people aren't like that normally. Well, it's assuming they fixed it. I mean... That's true. I mean, weird shit's still happening. There was stuff that we didn't do. Like, That's the parade. Crazy. He looks to Harlan. That was... Was that us? I don't know. Well, there's also, um... Didn't Vector say something about going down to service something and there was chaos? I don't know. He was talking about technical things, so I only processed yeah. all the information. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that that was why... That's why he started thinking different. That's not like a bad thing though, right? Like, I don't know. I mean, it, it's a bad thing for them, I guess, if they want to stay the way they are. I don't think thinking different is a bad thing, but, but something like a monodrome that's supposed to follow that like very orderly set path, I could see where something so different from what they're supposed to be, could potentially be a problem. Mm. It would be like a fish trying to fly. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but ain't, ain't we all There of... is a type of fish that flies. It doesn't actually fly, it just soars through the air when it jumps. Oh, oh okay. I was uh, a little disappointed. But it was cool all fun. kind of flying fish, though? What? Well, like, because I'm waiting for I mean, this incredibly insightful or possibly insane comment. <laughs> well, no, because like, you know, it's we're not exactly what was expected of us in surrounding areas. That's why we had to go to the rehabilitation center or reeducation or the the reacclimation reacclimation center. Thank you. Which, uh, by the way, I don't know if y'all knew it was an island. He points out at the there's an island on the east coast of the place that smack where Chronogram Four was, huh. is, which yeah. makes sense, you know, kind of like more of a prison colony. That is. Mm. Wait, Harlan, you said something. I'm I'm kind of confused. You said uh, you're not supposed to put a glove or a splinter. Why? He's saying right. you pull it out. Yeah. Because it causes problems. It like just festers. infected and stuff. So how come my mom was always bitching at my dad to put a glove on a splinter at night? Wow. 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 I'm really wow. confused. Wow. I'm going to walk faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even what involved. are you talking about? And he's just like, we're going. We're going. I broke Kyle. I'm so damn happy. <laughs> Valene's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and he just stares at you for a second, Paru, and just like. She genuinely has. Is, does not understand what the heck she just said. She's really confused. Can't help you, Paru. No idea. Huh. Weird. And the rest of the, <laughs> the two hours is this utter awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Um, so, 
um, as you're continuing down in this valley, you um, you find that you're um, actually um, actually do me a favor, um, Oliet, give me an Arcana check as you guys are talking about this idea of the um, uh, vector and what happened to vector. Um, the idea oh. of like sort of polar opposite energy and stuff. Okay, Arcana, 22. 22, yeah, you know, okay, so so the great celestial nirvana of Mechanus, as it is called, um, and as you've been able to kind of suss out, is a, is a, a realm of pure elemental order. It is precision, it is things that make it's a place of reason which is ironic because of how unreasonable some things have been in this place but if the if the things that are chaotic if these these sort of fissures or these these eruptions if being near one caused a uh, vector to somehow operate counter to his original intent then yeah, this idea of polar opposite energy, it, maybe it did kind of fundamentally change how Vector thought, because you have something from a realm of pure order meeting an energy of pure chaos. Those are those are opposing forces. So, am I surmising that Vector is the way that he is because of direct physical contact with something chaotic or with being in close exposure, proximity? Exposure. Exposure to that energy. Like, what being would, in the vicinity of that. Sure, sure, sure. What would I deduce um, as the reason why he's the only one? He indicated that he was like basically the canary down the coal mine <laughs> like he okay. was the one going deepest and so he got the closest um and and that's not saying that others might not think that he's sure. just the first one to get the well he's just the one you met that got the idea to like stick it to the system sure. um there could be others i mean vector seemed very um very optimistic that he would get other people to join the cause so, you know. Okay. I would have shared these thoughts with the group. Yeah, this was like kind of while you all were musing on the idea of yeah. of what all this was. So, additionally, want... yeah. Oh, ahead. sorry. No, well, no. I was going to ask as we were making our way through. Do I see any signs of life? Um, people specifically. So do I see any anything that might indicate that someone has been through here at any point in the recent past? Um, go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, 12. 12? Um, okay. Okay you uh you're kind of paying attention beyond just the natural beauty of the place trying to figure out what um what could be here that would indicate any life exists um or rather any civilization you're looking for people and for the first hour no it's just all wilderness pure unspoiled untouched wilderness uh, pretty. You see flowers and, like, random, uh, you see, like, fresh growing food, which definitely uh, piques a few people's interests, like mm. shrubs with berries and stuff. Mm. Um, and, like, even Tosh and Nicket kind of wander over towards these shrubs. Kind of not like sniffing at him and stuff, and Toshi starts kind of piling a bunch of them into his hand and sort of looking through them and trots over to you, Paru, and is like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if these are gonna kill me. 
Uh, would you like me to find out? Yes, please. All right. Um... Nick, it looks very. Nick, it looks very pleased that Toshi is being careful. <laughs> Just randomly eating. Let me make sure I have detect poison before I do that. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, so I I uh, cast uh, as a ritual. I cast detect poison and, and disease. So it, okay. It's gonna take me a few minutes. Okay. I just want to make. I'm gonna be super careful to make sure that. This little pee dance. Like, come on. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. All right. So then, like, hands. Not like in not in anger, but like in a. I don't know what to do with my hands, so I'm just gonna do this because it's gonna keep me from flailing more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she 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 does the casting. Okay. Uh, so while you you stop and and do that, uh, Nick it disappears for a second, uh, shuffling up a tree, um, just kind of poking out like a little meerkat, basically. <laughs> back into the tree, a little further out, back into the tree, um, and Valaine kind of glances up at the tree and shouts up. A kid, you see anything interesting? Um, there's a there's a there's a there's a big thing that's very helpful. Thank you. What kind of big thing, please? Oh, um, like an animal. Okay. What kind of animal? Um, it's got like um, it's got like horns, and it's uh. It's it's big. It's like uh, real big. So that's uh, it's teeth, real sharp. Can't see. It's just real big. Has it got spots? Um, why don't you just come on the other side of the tree and look? Kind of. Okay. Kind of has spots. Um, so. Who goes over to check out the uh, the thing that Nikit is seeing? I'll probably hold down the fort and keep Paru company since mm -hmm. she can't break concentration on this. Yeah, Beza definitely goes to take a look. Oh, thank you for the shame. posture check. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, and as you do, uh, as you come around the corner, the tree was blocking your view of something. A uh, big something. Um, you see a giant stag. When I say a giant stag, I'm, I mean giant. I mean huge. Like, like a story and a half tall stag. Wow. Um, it has moss growing up its back and its antlers are easily like a 20 foot span friend and it's just it's just like eating up in the tree very close to where nick it is and nick is just like <clears throat> so yeah kind of spotted has uh looks like it has almost it's hard to tell it kind of shimmers in the sun these like bioluminescent shimmering spots going down it like um it's very honestly very fey reminiscent it seems it feels like something you would see in the book it's pretty it's majestic as fuck um wow that's something even the queen of the hunt would enjoy chasing after i feel like the queen of the hunt would just ride it like a mount yes you are correct. Honestly, it's so big she could ride it along with half the hunters. <laughs> Should be cool, but it's mostly just terrifying. <clears throat> this thing's just chomp. Welcome to Jurassic Park again. Now, what if you were to take something, you know, kind of stretchy? and put it between that horn and that horn and then like a, a like a leather sack right in between it and then you could put things like like 
like spider webs or you know uh stink stink bugs or something like that and just kind of launch it oh y oh yonder you want to you want to turn the giant majestic stag into a slingshot oh only if it would be willing to do so i just think it might be fun okay uh i you hung out with my brother too much can yeah, we we'll just say that Haru, oh, Haru that's right, I can't and, probably and see this. I, I will say that um you hear Valaine through the uh through the book um messaging. Mm -hmm. uh, so giant fuck all stag, um probably about I don't know I don't know what sixty between sixty and ninety feet tall? Huh. Uh Harlan, can you talk to it? You can talk to animals, right? Oh yeah, I mean if that's uh You if should, it's, if you it should is, say hi. It's polite it, with meeting new people. And new well, sorry, it's polite with meeting new friends. <laughs> but Okay, so I, I I've been I've been a few places and what if it's not actually an animal? What if it's what if it's smarter than that and if it, it takes me referring to it as a, as a lesser creature as insulting? You could just start with hello, and just see how that goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, hello is, is an easy one, sure. Okay. Uh, You've got this. Outside uh, the box. Impressive. Uh, yeah, Harland will, will walk around the tree and uh, cast, uh, use his fur bulb magic to... Okay. Uh, where is that? Oh, I, I can just do it. Oh. That's okay. cool. There. Yeah, it's just a thing. That's just a thing Fribbles can do. Great. Whew. I felt like my ears had gone wonky, but I think my headphones just got... I think the wires on my headphones are going wonky, so everything got quiet for like five minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything's mm. real not quiet. Everything's fine. Okay, so you, you talk to the... Uh, you talk to the deer. What do you, uh, what do you try to impart on the deer? What do you say? Um, well, uh, hmm. common Elvisher giant. Uh, well, I mean, it's speak it in its uh, limited manner with beats and plants. Okay. Um, uh, he's because because it's giant. He's gonna speak giant. Okay. Um, which is that's it works. That's where with, his brain goes. Yeah, it, it worked with the her lady of the hunt. Um. Hello and welcome, and h how are you? Welcome uh, to my house. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> okay, hello and welcome. Oh, 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 great and majestic, beautiful creature. Where are we? You say, like, you shout this up at it? Yeah. And it hears you talking and just kind of... Mm, sort of, like, big thing. Just kind of leans into your face. Its head is, like, the size of a truck. And it just kind of... Get your hair blows back a little bit. It leans down near your feet where there's long grass, and it just goes. Oh. How's it going? Check, uh, checking out. Like as it as it takes a bite, are its teeth flat? They're real big, but they are flat. So they're, they're real big. He's okay, got a good survival fun. skill. Um, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it eats plants. Uh, I don't. I think as long as we are not threatening Harlan, towards it. Have you heard of the concept of opportunistic carnivores? That's a couple of big words that I know one of them eats meat. 
So, like, you ever see one of your cows on your farm, and, like, a bird just walks near the cow, and it happens to be hungry, and it might just go, chomp, because it's just food, and it's just near its face? Well, it, it had the opportunity to do that, and it did not. Okay. It, it, it ate just grass. Just put it up. Just, just put it up. Keep going, buddy. You're doing great. So, Harlan is going to kind of off about five feet away, reach down and grab some grass, like oh, as, okay. as much grass as he can. And, like, he's fed horses before, so he's going to, like, hold it out on his on his forearms. Like, with. Okay. Basically, okay. like, f as flat as possible, like, present presenting it up to him. thing just kind of leans forward again you see it's got it's got like a almost like cracking going down its forehead and it glows it has this like yellowish green glow to it so it kind of looks up and sort of re leans forward to where you're holding this like handful of of long grass and it like puts its nose right into your hand and just oh, it's you, you kind of flatten your hands very <laughs> carefully very tensely to not give it any opportunity to uh catch a finger um and uh and yeah it just it just eats it and so second second step with horses is you always want to touch that snoot <laughs> So he's gonna just like reach up and it's He gonna boop the snoot. My, my name Give me my name is... handling check okay. as you do that. Before you get a word out to the I actually have handling. advantage on these checks. Hey. Uh, uh thirteen. Thirteen? So go ahead and keep talking as you reach to catch them. Well, my Oops. name's Harlan, uh, Harlan Firebranch of the uh, Chronicle Four Har Fire Branches. Um, what's your name? Not that I'd be able to understand you, but big deep breaths in your face. Valian's like, Are "You sure this thing knows what you were saying?" Well, it seemed to understand the the offering of grass to it, so uh, oh, I think good. it's more intelligent than than uh, your run of the mill elk, as it were. Okay, so I mean, what do we want from it? Uh, I mean, pets. Do we want to ride? Hmm. Huh would make the trip to the beach shorter. Oh. I, I, will, I will see what I can do. I seem to have a rapport with it. Well, great and uh, il il illustrious uh, el elk. Um, I was I was wondering if I might be able to uh, besmirch thee uh, uh, a favor um, can can you take can you take me and my friends to the beach over yonder down the hill a ways if that's not too much trouble we got one of uh, us who can just grow you a whole a whole, a whole mess of nice plants if you want uh um you you try to talk to this thing for a while and it doesn't seem to be following whatever you're putting down in giant All right, uh doesn't really react much more though it does kind of nudge you a little bit like hey, fucker got more grass uh, yeah <laughs> reach, reach down and grab more grass uh, tr 
We'll try Elvish. Um, I am Holland Thile Blanche of the Chronica Fall Thile Blanches. Oh my I'll god. Okay. <laughs> Please continue. Could you uh, take uh, our party to uh, Elvish is Splish Splash. Splish His name is Fudafafa. Um, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so now that we're all done having a, a joint hallucination of French Harlan, um, when you start talking in Elvish, you notice its ear twitch. And it like looks back at you. It's deep breaths again. Uh, still in Elvish. Um, yeah, hi, Holland here. Um, I've been feeding you grass. Uh, can, can can we can we hitch a ride, maybe? Um, Harlan of the of the grass. I've been giving you. <laughs> of, of the grass under this tree. Um, <laughs> Don't say that, I'll eat you. Um, we are we are mighty out of our element here, and uh, we uh, appreciate any sort of. Uh, hmm. How about some? Uh, you know where the locals are. Like reaches back stretches back to its back and you see it like you get the sense maybe it's scratching <laughs> um maybe we could try sylvan I, I don't know that one I, I speak a little i can i can parrot your words the deer comes back like after scratching all right you hear a noise coming out of its mouth. <laughs> and out of its mouth, a little creature covered in leaves, uh, bright green, little like button eyes. Um, looks like it's molting, but then you realize its head is like an orange that's kind of peeling, revealing its face. Um, very tiny. This thing is like this big. <laughs> uh, much smaller than Paru, but yeah. Um, and it like looks up at the deer. <laughs> and it just goes. <sighs> and it bowls him over. <laughs> like, <laughs> and just hits the ground. <laughs> You don't hear it from, or have you guys finished the spell? Or you'd still be doing it. You'd still be doing it, probably. Um. Um. It looks up at you, uh, Harlan. Uh, well, well, hi there. You, um, you get what it's thrown down. It's definitely going. What's it to you, motherfucker? Um. It's <laughs> But it is very, very cute. It's not covered in leaves. It seems to be made of them. Do well, we... I must say, this is uh, as far as as far as first contact between your people and my people. Uh, this is going swimmingly so far uh, with that that giant bus that you were just on. Uh, dropped you off here. Um, I'm Harlan. Hi. I don't know if you can understand me. How about how about this? If you can understand me, stamp your foot once. <laughs> Stares at you, blinks. Yeah, okay, um, 
Holland. Like, gestures towards it. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe we should just try all the languages we speak. It, yeah. Uh, it seems that, uh, I, I have, I've come to the end of my ability to... Hey, hey, games. short stack? Hmm? So you remember that time where we, like, wandered away from one of the music festivals and found this little, like, it was like a little court of vegetable people? Oh, yeah, the veggie pygmies. They were super sweet. Uh, yeah, like the the twins that were cherries, but they were connected and they wanted to marry me. You remember that? Yeah, that yeah. was that was adorable. Yeah, yeah. I had good taste. Um, what's up? <laughs> it sounds weird talking about a fruit person. Mm. Um, so I think we might have found another one. Ooh, uh, let me finish this, and I'll be right there. Yeah, I mean, we could bring them to you, I guess. That would Might be, be a little angry about it. That would probably be better. I, I mean, I can always just eat one of these berries and make sure it's not poisonous before I let the kid have them. Can we just offer the berries to the big stag, and if it eats it, it's probably not poisonous because it knows what's poisonous out here. Oh jeez, I'm... I'm just gonna grab two of them and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. You don't die immediately. <laughs> That's a good I time. will relay that to the group. Hey, Great. you won't die immediately. Good. Just Keep on, an eye on things, things for the rest thing. of the time. Yeah. <sighs> Two hours from now. My oh, eyes yeah. just fall out of my head. <laughs> well, <laughs> replaced with the berries. Um, oh real, my god, real, that's so horrifying. Body horror now. Oh my god. Coraline. <laughs> Well, I'll okay. just keep an eye on her. Um, but I think you're, you'll be fine for now, <laughs> Toshi. Here you go. And uh, Paru will wander over. Okay. So yeah, you wander over and you see this little orange-headed creature with itty-bitty legs and the little bean eyes. And... <laughs> Holy shit. She immediately switches into <clears throat> Vegeta Pygmy. I am so sorry that we have inconvenienced you. Are you all right? My name is Paru. Um, this is Harland and Belaine and Oliette and Beza and that is Toshi and that is Nicket. We're new here. Um, sorry, we were asking this beautiful friend creature here uh, where we might find the local denizens of this area and... I wasn't over here to see what happened, but I assume that you were somehow brought out uh, quite um, off guard. That was a lot of information. What do you want me to address first? Sorry. Cause shit. Sorry. Um, I'm kind of just excited to get to use this language. I never get <sighs> to talk to anybody in it. It's so refreshing. Um. Uh, the Pagans um, don't normally talk to us, so I'm impressed. Oh, uh, well, I, I'm not much bigger than you. I mean, they're bigger than me, so... We're a Pagan. Oh, okay. Well, um, I, I guess is... Uh, first is, did we inconvenience you? And, and so sorry. Didn't mean to. You didn't, but he did. You're lucky you're a god. Gives a really passive aggressive little bow at the deer and then kind of kicks a rock near him. <laughs> oh! The deer is a god. Your Majesty, uh, sorry. Uh, did not know. And, um, uh, what should. I'm Paru, what should I call you? Hmm. Why did I not think this far ahead? <laughs> what is wrong with me? He thinks for a moment as he considers whether he wants to give you his name. Um, <laughs> give me two seconds. 
I'm just gonna lean over to Beza. What do you think she's saying about us? You think she's telling them how cool we are? Um, considering the Taru, I think she's probably apologizing. That tracks. That tracks. Is the deer still here? Mm hmm. Started eating grass off the ground. She switches back into common for half a second. Uh, by the way, the deer is a god, so be nice. And goes right back into uh, a pygmy. Wait, what? Don't mind me. I'm going to go back to feeding the god grass because I seem to like that. <laughs> that is a very, very good out of context quote. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you, uh, oh, there you are. Okay. Second, I will have a. I will have his name in a moment. No worries. Newt. It is nice to meet you, Newt. Um. Okay. Do. Are Are there more? Where Where do you all reside? We're We're new here, so we were looking for. Uh, those who live here. Uh, we want to make sure that you know. Uh, things in the area that are edible, like the berries. Are they okay? They won't hurt anybody if, they, if they're eaten I if, if, do they belong to anybody first of all because I'm happy to like you know pay for them if they're if they belong to someone but I want to they didn't ask you not to eat them did they they didn't say anything that I heard okay good I assume that some of your folk are also berries or or look like berry bushes oh like a whole bush no just the berry. But they like to hang out in shrubs sometimes. Oh, good to know. I, I will make sure. Them it's dumb. Just asking for trouble. I'll make sure that um, they, that that uh, we make sure that we don't eat anybody who speaks. Well, we live we live up near the tail section. Oh, very neat. So you actually reside on the? Does the god have a name? Wander Moss. Wander Moss. So you guys live on Wander Moss. That's very cool. Yes. Um, we were trying... We didn't realize that Wander Moss was a god, and we were trying to see if uh, they would give us a lift down to the beach, but I suppose that would be quite rude to ask a deity for a ride. It would. Looks distracted. It's totally not me looking for my headphones. Or my, uh, my earplugs. Um, my headphones just died. Um, well, if uh, I mean, what you wanna, you wanna, you wanna ride along? I mean, you guys are big and you're kind of big. Well, we wouldn't want to accidentally squish anybody. But uh, do you speak any other languages aside from Veggie Pygmy, so I can uh, loop my friends into the conversation? Nope. Hmm. All right. We can shorthand this, Tessa. One moment while I translate, <laughs> and she'll. She will translate. Okay. Uh, also, I seconds. love him. Yeah, he's he's a little jerk. I like he's him too. He's adorable. Uh, give me two seconds. I'm gonna grab my headphones real quick because no these worries. definitely just died. No worries. Yep. I posted um, the pictures of Newt and oh. Wander Moss. Thank you. In chat for anyone who wants to look at them. He is so cute. His little face is made up of like an unripe apricot. Mm-hmm. Yep. So cute. I'm dead. I also want to pet Wander Moss. So bad. They are shaped like a friend. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Anyway, so sad. Welcome back. It's okay. So, um, so Newt, uh, so so what was the last thing you asked, Newt? Uh, asking about a ride, basically down to the beach. Um, and if oh, if he, if uh, he spoke anything other than uh, Vegapigmy. Nope. 
<laughs> which we can shorthand. We can yeah. just say you're you're translating. Yeah. So, um, you see somebody biggins in a while. How how long? Oh, um, I don't know. A while. Huh. Hmm. I would assume you guys are like free to to ask Newt any questions you want. Just assume yes, that I'm yes. translating oh, back and forth. Me, just, yeah, just talk to him as if you're talking to him. Perfect. So is that a yes on the ride to the beach or a no? Oh, that's not my that's not my call. Wandermoss that's... needs to make all decisions and body autonomy and all that with God. That makes sense. Does Wandermoss speak anything but Veggie Pygmy? Seems to understand Sylvan. I mean, not yes. Sylvan, Elvin. That's the word I was looking for. If... Yeah, some flowery language. Well, if they're really a god, wouldn't they understand Celestial? You might not know the answer to that, Newt. It's okay. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'd really like the god to put me back in my home. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, we, could, we could, like, you know, or, chunk you, know, you on up there. Keep eating grass. That's fine. Whatever. Sure. Um. Oh no, I can, I can make the journey back. I suppose. And he looks up the leg of the creature that is moss growing up in. <laughs> that will be a terrible journey. I mean, I could just get you up. Do you need help? Oh. You she can fly you up there, yeah. Oh, well, that. Oh, well, you know. Sure. Okay. 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 If you I just lived with that, that would have been much easier. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh. You don't know that that's you out of character. Have, me, you, but... you biggins have a weird have a weird sense of propriety. Okay. Well, Ollie hoop, and I'm just gonna grab <laughs> Ollie up, takes Newt up, and he just goes. Ah! The whole time. I'm going to be slow. I don't want to no. He's still doing <laughs> it. <laughs> and Aaliyah gets higher and she goes, ah. so, uh, For a tiny little fella, big lung capacity. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You you can keep screaming right in my ear. I, I'm fine with it. It's, uh, it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just express yourself. Oh my god. Uh, so kids, the berries are fine as long as they don't ask you not to eat them. It will sound kind of squeaky, uh, like the language I was speaking. So just double check, make sure whatever you pick off the bushes, don't talk before you try to eat them. <laughs> Sorry. That's my new go-to noise when they don't know Perfect. what to do. I sort of feel silence. How far do I have to fly up to get Newt home? Eventually, you just... Oh my god, no! <laughs> he's, he's pointing out um, oh. towards the, the tail of the okay. deer. Of the okay. deer. Uh, you see that there's a large collection of moss like on its like on its back, on its lower back. Um, it's on the deer's butt. Oh. Um, and you see like movement and like fluttering of like slightly bigger chunks of moss and like you get the sense that there's like a little colony of these veggie pygmies up here. Oh, I should have brought Paru. <laughs> <laughs> you could take him back down and get Paru. Hold on, hold on. I, like, literally, I get so close, I'm like, oh shit, hold on. And I'm going to go back down. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, no. He goes, <laughs> a little higher. We'll dive down. I'll grab Paru if she wants to hop on. Like, I, 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 if I am needed to translate to the one language that I chose that literally has no use except for now, I'm super delighted. I, there's a lot of them, and if they all start screaming, I'm not going to be able to, to discern what's happening, so I think you should come with me. You got it. He's like tucked under my arm at this point. <laughs> so I'll fly them both back up there. I can't go higher than that, so he doesn't change octaves. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so yeah, so you fly back up with Paru. 
Um, and you head to the, um, so yeah, you sail up this creature, and you just get this, and this is for Paro too, since Paro's actually here now, mm -hmm. as well, uh, you get the sense of this, the scale of this creature, and as it's breathing and kind of moving around, you get this little rumble through the air, just as, mm -hmm. like, you're kind of vibrating a little bit, like, like, I always do this, it's like a subwoofer. There's I'm delighted. Huge. It is, again, not unlike some of the more grand things you've seen in the book world. Weird to see it here, though. You get this almost... It, it's a little... It's a little, like, out of body in the sense of... It feels like being back in the book right now. And you know you're not. You're, like, holding the book. You have the book. It, it's just very strange to, to have this kind of, like wild magic kind of vibe out here in what is ostensibly the, the material world and uh and you fly over the back of the uh the deer or the i guess uh wander moss and you as you get a little further to towards the back you you, you hear it a little bit and you see it sort of like glance over its shoulder back at you it doesn't do anything it's just kind of watching it knows you're there. Um, I'm not going to touch down. I'm just going to deposit. Uh, put Newt down. Yeah. Haru will yell over her shoulder. It's very nice to meet you, Wander Moss. In, Dru in uh, Druidic. Reaches up for a tree branch. <laughs> is it? What did you say to it? Is it ignoring us? What is, that? What is happening here? Uh, no, I said it was very nice to meet it, but I don't know if it speaks Druidic or not. I just... Testing a theory. I don't speak celestial, but um, yeah, just thought I would. I put you down. So <laughs> 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 um, you put you put him down, and you see him kind of like trot a little forward. And there's a few there's a few of these veggie pygmies running towards him. No. Um, including one that's kind of fluttering, it's kind of hovering, uh, that sort of bops him upside the head a little bit. <laughs> oh. Uh, and, uh, very cute, though, uh, has, has a little bit of an onion head. Oh. Um, that is, um, uh, kind of, also got kind of a oh. pine cone vibe to her. Um, oh. and... And they're they're clearly in some sort of argument, um, and there's another one that has a uh, like <laughs> there's a big burly one that has maybe like an apple growing inside it. Oh. It has no head. It has no face. It's like hiding behind oh leaves. Oh my god! It's I big, love him. Chumpy guy. Um, and uh, and yeah, there's just a bunch of them. They're just these little like forest creatures that seem to have like vegetation and, and edible food specifically uh, as part of their their uh, their bodies. Um, Faru is overjoyed and just like ecstatically talking to anybody who wants to talk. Oh, sure. So uh, Newt is pointing back at the both of you. Uh, talking to the little flying one, making big gestures, and point. You see, you see him kind of point towards the beach mm -hmm. as he's like doing a little, little dance thing. Um, it's very cute, Olya. You have no clue what he's saying. Um, you get the sense from Paru that he's a little foul mouth, um, but still very adorable. So it's hard to, it's hard to be mad at him. Um, and eventually, the little, uh, the little flying. Um, being flutters over um kind of glances glances at you all yet spins around a little bit like spins around you a little bit like kind of studying and then goes down to paru because paru was the one that could actually speak the language um indicated by by newt and um and she flutters down to where you are paru oh hello good day how are you? It is it is lovely to make your acquaintance. Uh, I am Paru. I am Starch Druid's Beauty Bug. Oh, it's very, very nice to meet you. Could you say that one more time, Angela? 
Starch, starch druid, druid. Starch druid. Oh, you're you're a druid. Hmm. I'm also I'm also a druid. Starch. It's it's lovely to meet another druid. Wait, did you say starch druid? Speedy bug. Speedy bug. Yes, speedy bug. Circle of the potatoes. <laughs> circle. Circle of the tubers. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> it's the circle of tubes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. My brain. Um, it's <laughs> wonderful to get to meet another druid. It's it's not something I ha get to do often. Hmm. Well, it's very uh, very nice to meet a, a, a biggin that uh, that has uh, an appreciation for uh, for our uh, well for us. Oh, of course. Well, I mean, I don't understand why anyone wouldn't. But I suppose the other biggins around here haven't been around in some time, it sounded like. At least from No, nude. and the ones who have were quite um, uh, impertinent and quite, uh, quite un, um, uncaring towards our, our home. I'm so sorry. Were they um, metal? Or made of uh, shiny gold color and silver and look like yes little... would have come from uh, below the earth or some sort of non um, well we don't know where they came from lots of lots of sharp angles yes we have just left the place where they they came into our home as well and uh, we have left it to try and see what's out in the natural world since no one can remember a time from before they arrived or what the land was originally like before they came it was like yes. wow well there were biggins around but they're not in this um, this valley as ours we, we have staked our claim as you should this valley is she beautiful. Looks little, she looks a little questioning at you, like, don't no. think about it. <laughs> no, no. As you should, this valley is absolutely beautiful. Uh, my friends and I were w wondering about potentially going down to the beach, but we didn't want to impose on Wandermoss or on you, as uh, from my understanding with my conversation with Newt, that you all reside here. So uh, we would not wish to... Uh, inconvenience anybody. Wandermoss travels... We travel with Wandermoss as Wandermoss Moss wishes to travel. Uh, mostly for food. Understandable. Uh, if there is nothing potable near the coast, um, it is very unlikely that Wandermoss would make their way there. Huh. Um, that makes sense. Is there anything... But if there was something interesting, um, they, they might... They might perchance wander there. Hmm. Good to know. Uh, is there anything we should know about this area? Um, any potential dangers? Things we should look out for? The occasional begin. Mm -hmm. But I suppose you're fearful of your own kind. Um, you... Uh, there, there are some... Um, there are some other tribes of ours. Um, uh, some have not been blessed to to inhabit wanderlust or er, wanderlust talk um, wandermouse. Uh, have not have, have not been so blessed to inhabit wandermouse, but uh, uh, they they do pilgrimage here from time to time when they can catch them. Oh, excellent! That is good to know. Um, and any particular vegetation we should stay away from. Uh, I'm just thinking purely of. Uh, food resources, obviously we would not want to accidentally harm any of you, and we would definitely want to make sure that we stay away from anything inedible or poisonous. Well, uh, I, I do not claim to know much about begin anatomy and dietary needs. That's fair. One would think that what would kill one thing would kill most. That is a, a fair assessment. Well, excellent. Um, 
Do any of your people speak anything other than Fetch a Pick Me, or how long have you been here? We have been here for, uh, for, for ageless moons. Um, many, many, long, very long time. Mm. Uh, the, the, the metal begins. They were far more concerned with time in that way. We do not worry about containing it in, in measurements like that. We just exist. I completely understand that. I'm not much of a fan of containing things in, containing time in any fashion. But, um, well, it, it was very wonderful to meet you and you all. Um, Oliette, do you, uh, this is my friend Oliette, by the way. Um, it, obviously she's translating back and forth. Um, sure. D did you have any questions, Oliette, that I am missing? Do they have any fruits or like any plants that make you just like have a good time? Is there anything like out, out here? Oh, to eat. I mean, like enlightening herbs out here. Hmm. Things to. You want to get high. <laughs> Part yeah, of I mean, like if... coughs and. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're going to the beach, it just seems like a waste not. Mm -hmm. But, like, no, no pressure. There are various psychotropic uh, things around. Beautiful. If it doesn't kill you, and it doesn't taste good, probably. <laughs> Why am I setting this as a rule? <laughs> I don't know, it's fair. It's fair, though. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, you do Folksy have... wisdom. Me traveling with you, I can probably find whatever you are looking for. I'm just saying, if they, like, had a guy, like, here, I'm, just, I'm not, like, you know what I mean? It's cool. It's cool. Oh, you mean pedal. <laughs> Is pedal busy, or... <laughs> <laughs> you see her point to the one with the apple growing out of its stomach? Oh my god. Oh my like... god. What's up, bro? <laughs> Fucking dead. I heard that was good. Pedal the pusher. Um, Stop, Angela. So he's a peddler. <laughs> I love it. And um, a petal. Uh. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh. No, I don't. I don't think I have. I. I. We should probably. I don't know if we're gonna get a ride from. Wander Moss. I think we we probably better just hoof it. I, I would hate to oh, get that's... on their list this early. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Right? I'm totally fine with that. But uh, what is it you you seek out here, Biggins? Do you come from the Metal City? It's I do. All we've ever known. We were told that the outside was dangerous, and I'm inclined not to believe what oh no it certainly is dangerous here and there yes but not inherently so because it is not contained within walls that's what those biggins who were the metal shinies from underground would have us believe that anything outside of the walls that they have put in place is to be shunned and ignored because it cannot be controlled according to their grand designs which is if you ask me against nature, as nature is intended to bloom and grow as it will not be put behind a stone wall. Hmm. Here, here. Here, here! And she, she shouts back to the other one. Here, here. They weren't part of the conversation. Um, <laughs> they're just yes veggies. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so uh, she she kind of flutters around a little bit. She she gets a little incensed as you uh, as you're talking about this kind of stuff, and um, she says, "Druid to druid." I mean, we get each other there. Yeah. Yeah. She does say a few things in druidic that are clearly like curses. <laughs> Part of echo uh, echoes the sentiment, and and probably doesn't add any colorful curses, but like is. On par with the uh, conversation. The scent. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Are you seeking just um, 
The refuge, sanctuary, a new home, perhaps. Fleeing from the middle city and the... The biggins with the walls. Maybe. Hey, maybe. Ask them what their rent is like. Potentially. Uh, we're mainly also seeking answers. There are a few within the walls who would like to get away from those who have given us who have kept us inside so we've been tasked with going outside and seeing what world there is to see hmm. well, I do not expect advice. all of the biggins to come flooding out here that would be disastrous and not at all what I wouldn't have them do I would say we are a small contingent hmm. and you seem respectful enough Thank you. I try. Do you ask about the rent? <laughs> Do you paraphrase the question about the rent? I'm trying to... Probably not. Oh, okay. I mean... How about this? In the fanfic that Oliet actually got to ask that question. Um, <laughs> Par was just worried about accidentally offending in all of their good no, graces going the away. Answer would have been, the answer would have been, oh, just eternal devotion to Wander Moss. Oh, that seems reasonable. <laughs> Does. Does that include utilities or like, I don't know. Seriously. All the malls you can live in. Oh, thank God. Wow. <laughs> and occasionally being plucked to go deal with things that Wandermoss doesn't want to deal with. Fair. <laughs> Fair. And you're just like, yeah. I'm aware. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you for your assistant, Newt. It was it was very uh, much appreciated, and thank you, uh, Starch Druid. It, it was wonderful to make your acquaintance. You're most welcome. If we you find welcome. anything of interest for uh, Water Moss down by the coast, we'll, we'll let we'll let hmm. uh, them know. They prefer grass. Good to know. If you haven't. I believe one of our party has for sure. <laughs> Newt shouts out. Goodbye. You don't suck that much, so yay. 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 I'm glad we don't suck that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not too much. Oh, that's like the nicest thing anybody's said to me all day. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you looked like a gosh darn queen earlier. Oh. And that's the nicest thing someone said to you all day? No, Please. I'm so sorry. This has been a very long day. Apparently. It's almost like... It's, it's almost like it's up. lasted three weeks. It's almost like, yeah, like it's yeah. just felt like a super long day. I forgot it's about really it. a long day. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I assume that Oliette grabs Paru and you depart? Yeah. Depart Probably it. head over the... Of, to the front side, laying sure. back down in front of Wander Moss. Harland is like, there's a huge chunk of grass missing from the lawn here. Like, and Harland's like collecting more of it. I feel like Harland at some point. Do you, is, do you have a cantrip that moves earth? Yes. You were probably using that to like bring it up a little bit into a hill. <laughs> it's like reverse whack a mole. Yeah. <laughs> Make it a little easier. It's like playing Valheim where you just whack the ground a bunch to make it... I have I have issues. Sorry. So, what do you do when you get back down? Well, in in Harlan, did you make friends? Yes. Or... How's this going? Looks yeah, like you're having fun. Friends. You have reached sort of an, a stand, like an armistice with with the large creature. Um, it is content to eat what you offer. Yeah, I, th I think it's more of a more of a transactional relationship. Uh, I don't think that it's going to be... Uh, you know, th there's been a very surface level rapport that's been built. Um, I, I would not um, choose to impose upon its largesse. That's fair. Okay, well, should we just keep moving then? I think that'd be a good idea. Did you figure out what languages it speaks besides Elvish? Did you try any other ones? Probably would have tried Common. That's the only other one that he speaks. 
supposed to speak common. Um, if they were trying different languages, Beza would have tried the ones she speaks also. So okay. she would have tried Gnomish and Sylvan. Uh, Sylvan gets a bit um, of a reaction, but you don't get the sense that it speaks any languages. It just understands a few. Um, it does not seem to be like a terribly intelligent creature. <laughs> Basic, makes you question the whole it's a god thing. You think it might be yeah. the veggie pygmy's god, mm -hmm. um, but not a god. Got Just it. a very big fuck all deer. Would you Just, say that this creature is um It's a, real big. A beast? I don't know. <laughs> um Yeah, but it's real fucking big. Like it would be a, it's it's CR is too high for you, I think. Probably. Is it is it greater than CR1? Yes. Then yes, it's too high for me. By a considerable amount. Is that like your max ever? Yes, because I am not Circle yeah. of the Never Moon. Never be able to turn into this thing, ever. Um, because I am not Illica Dawncaller. Because, yes, that girl you are was... not a mer You're not a moon druid, that's all. Uh-huh. Uh, so. So, uh, what do you uh what do you do what do you uh, do you just start heading continuing to head towards the beach okay i would, I would say so sure yeah i'll just um, wave goodbye to this thing and uh there are others in the area so we should keep an eye out for other groups and things like that make sure we don't accidentally eat anybody that's definitely important Oh, speaking of, um, uh, hey, Sunshine, you still, like, uh, you tripping or you dying or anything after those berries? Whatever. Am I, though? No. Okay. You're not. I feel wild as hell. You're you actually a little disappointed that you're not. <laughs> you should try some. They're insane. Mm. I literally can make spores. I'm right here. Yeah, but the hunt is part of the fun. You know what I mean? Like talking code and like bathroom deals. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Oliet, do you, are you a question? Are you missing hit points right now? I don't think so. You, you had a long rest. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, think I was so. like, I I don't have any spell slots right now because I burned them all, making sure that you you guys like, had a long rest. You oh. like slept. So sorry, I meant to say that, Tessa. Fuck yeah. Um, you all had a long rest. Oh awesome. yeah, I, I can't. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Yay, all of, all of my spell spots are back. That's why I was casting it as a ritual. Hooray. Otherwise, I would have just done it. Oh, whoops. Oh. Um, well, Oliet's uh, personal sacrifice has gleaned that they are not poisonous. <laughs> um, and so you continue walking down. Uh, you're, in, you're in the depths of the valley right now. Um, and you start... Um, you start that second leg of the valley journey. And... Everybody give me, if you want to be on the lookout for danger or anything like that, give me a perception check. If you want to be on the lookout for food, give me a survival check. Survival for, for me. Probably perception. Okay. Perception. Yeah, just tell me what you rolled and what you, uh, what you got. Natural 20. Natural 20. Yeah. For what? For which one? <laughs> for finding food. Uh, survival. Okay. Cool. I rolled t a 10 to look for danger. Okay. And Harlan, maybe to find something that'll get Ollie at high. <laughs> mm. So, uh, so Paru, you are looking around and you find a really pretty tree. Mm. Um, it has, um, it has purple leaves mm -hmm. with a little bit of green in them. And there are red, beautiful red berries growing on them. This is gorgeous. It's really pretty. Um, and, uh, and yeah, there's a couple of, uh, um, there's a couple of like seed pods as well. 
I'm gonna take a couple of skew pods and sniff the berries, see if they give me any warning signs. Yeah, they do not. Uh, they do not emit a uh, skull and crossbones when you <laughs> smell them. Good, good. Um, so uh, th that's that's at least a, a plus. Um, and go ahead and give me a nature check as you as you check these guys out. Eighteen. You are pretty damn sure they are edible. Mm -hmm. um, based on your experience, you try one, you wait a little bit, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. um, it's like Firebringer. <laughs> Nobody eat that! Mm -hmm. um, but as you're, as you're kind of like trying one, you've had these before. In the Fae book. Oh my these God. are good berries. Well, these are what I make. It's a tree. Guys? Hmm. This is a, this is a good berry tree. Well, they don't look bad. Nope, from like really? home. Good berry tree. That's a good berry tree. <laughs> Thank um. you. <laughs> I thought the good berries grew on bushes. I thought that they came from the store. Or Haru. Or Haru. Did I say tree? I meant bush. Okay. Well, I have no idea. Yeah. It's a plant. It's a large plant. They, they, they do come from me. I do make them, but this you is where not they... the originator of I the am berries. not the creator of the good berries. Blaine walks over. Pops a seed pod off the tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take a couple as well. He, um, God damn it! He takes the knife out of his hand, um, and like pries it open. Huh. You think you can plant one of these? Mm. That's my hope. Well, I kind of ruined this one. Um, and he no, he kneels more, down. So it's okay. Well, yeah, he, he kneels down and like digs a little hole and puts it in, mm -hmm. like. There you go. Sorry. Um, now, and, if I remember it. correctly, um, Paru, previously when you've made these, uh, they don't they don't last very long, do they? Correct. Well, the why don't we just hang? Why don't we just hang on to a few of them and see if they stick around? That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, Nicket and uh, Toshi get the message. We should definitely Toshi's take shirt is like pads. full of berries. He's just like walking around with it now. Um, These are really good. Mm hmm. They are. Mm -hmm. You know, if you eat too many of those, you're going to shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> his ears go down? Or his ears go back? I'm just saying, don't eat a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Also, if you, if you trip and fall, you get a jelly belly. He's already got one of those. Hey! We can't have jelly bellies in this house. Nick it just kind of like pokes him in the belly. Stop it! <laughs> um, do you kids want a sack so you can carry those instead of having them in your shirt? And she pulls a, a sack out of her bag of random stuff that they got off the train. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Until she takes it dumps the berries. <laughs> but not too many of them. Not a lot of ones, anyway. Space them out. Now, You'll be fine. Valene, that, that, that strikes an idea in my head. So, yeah. what if, you know, are, are you are you sure how much your, your little hand pocket space can hold? Um, I think, uh, uh, he gave me a number. 500 what? pounds. Yeah. What? I mean, we're not sure how many berries that is, right? So, I mean, you can so just keep grabbing berries. 
That's probably more than the entire bush. Don't other things eat the berries? Probably. Maybe don't take all of them. I, I was I was trying to be funny, but I guess that's fine. Oh. If everybody takes me literally. That's cool. That's okay too. He reaches out with his hand with his prosthetic for a berry, and then just goes. I like to be dramatic. I got a question. Yes. Um, someone with magic might have to answer this question. Pinball said that things won't keep forever in your hand, like it doesn't. Yeah, it's stop them not from refrigeration. Right. Oh. So. Okay, if it's you... the berry. That's probably a good call. Yeah, it's gonna well, get gross. Well, no. What I'm wondering is, if you have enough berries in there in some kind of container, is it gonna turn into fermented berries like wine? Oh shit! It's not climate controlled. Mm. Well, I mean, actually, I don't know that. All yet, I assume it wasn't climate controlled. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry. Yeah. You realize we could check that. If I fit inside your hand, I don't have to breathe, so you don't have to worry Ooh, about the air problem. And Valina <laughs> immediately reaches for your face and just goes. Phoom. <laughs> you got a pocket baser. <laughs> That's like a switchblade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've already got. I've already got. I've already got one of those. Hold on. Hold on. Baza. You don't hear anything, Baza. It's just dark and quiet. <laughs> and he goes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and Baza, you just appear out of the uh, out of the hand like. You sort of stumble a bit, but you catch yourself. How many sneak attacks could we do with that? Endless, right? You're, you don't have to breathe. <laughs> and he just looked like there's so much room for activities. <laughs> like, <laughs> did we just become best friends? No. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Faisa, um. and you, he puts his hands on either side of your face. Faisa, this makes up for <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my god! And he's just like, at least he's right. excited. I mean, it was pretty comfortable in there. It was. I mean, it just it was. I don't. I mean, the temperature didn't change, but I wasn't in there for very long, so I don't know if it ever does. <clears throat> it's it's like literal neutral. Like it, it was... doesn't feel like anything. If you ever need to be smuggled anywhere, you just say the word. You just ask me. Oh, that's true. If we ever need to not have a three-foot walking white statue going with us somewhere, it's a good idea. I mean, I can't imagine any scenario in which that would be the case, I feel like. You want to avoid your, you want to avoid your dad. You know, that. Or his ex. Why would I avoid Sir Tuskendale? Oh, uh, my heart. Somewhere, <laughs> Sir Tuskendale just goes, <laughs> Oh my god. I have been attacked with the feels. <laughs> just, uh, no idea why. Oh, my heart. I'm too unmedicated for this shit. <laughs> I feel tonight, sorry. Things Juliet says. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm too unmedicated for this shit. Oh, oh. Um, I'm just saying, this growler's near empty, so like, yeah, this party's right. getting boring. So, we're gonna oh skip ahead God, a little bit. I love bit. you guys so much. I'm gonna skip ahead just a little. Um, and uh, you start heading for um uh you start heading for the uh the coast well not heading for it but you you get closer and the um very gentle sound of the ocean starts catching your ears like it's echoing off the mountain it's pretty cool um, as you're all heading for, um, heading for the coastline and 
kittens get really excited and uh they're just like she's like she's like no no um and yeah it's pretty it's this really lovely um this really lovely beachy like slightly rocky um beach side coast goes all the way one way all the way the other way if you look one way there's nobody there Just empty beautiful pristine beach mm. it's not too hot you're pretty far north on the island it's it's nice and we were the headed other way. northeast right you were headed northeast so um let me see on the picture you and and if you bring this up harland like valaine will try to suss this out with you um you are probably uh you're probably north of the um i think you're at i think that's chronogram two um, I believe Chronogram 2 is the furthest to the top right. Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to be just north of that. So you're heading for the coast up there. And uh, you glance the other way and you see a couple of figures. Like, humanoid. They're far off in the distance, but... Uh, you see a pair. Oh, there's, uh, do you think these people are scouting out this real estate? We should tell them that we already, we should tell them that we've already, you already talked to the real estate agent. And... Yeah. I mean, we're in, we're in escrow. Like it's done. We <laughs> already met the neighbors. All we gotta do is pan for some gold and it's our claim. Just saying. I mean, if we put a flag in the sand, isn't that basically like how it's done? If they don't have a flag, they can't claim a country. That's what I'm saying. No flag, no beach. Huh? Can get cake, though. Mmm. We're terrible. Hello, Good everyone. berry cake. <laughs> Good talk, everybody. Um, how far are these? How many are there, and how far are two. they from us? There's two, two. of them. Uh, they are quite a distance away. Um... It's easily a quarter mile down the beach. Yeah. Mm. Maybe even a little bit more than that. <clears throat> so the Veg Pygmies did say that there were other big ones around, but they hadn't seen any for a long time. So we should just be cautious. Mm, I really want to get in the water, though. Okay. I'll be good. I don't see why you can't. Because they get in the water... I gotta take this off. No, oh, man. What's this? She yeah, just what are you just her, at? her clothes. Oh. Does oh, Olia have, have, have presentation? Do I? You would think, right? I sure <laughs> don't, though. Harlan oh. does. Harlan. Oh, well, then Harlan. Yeah, Harlan can just drive That's right, because Harlan, Harlan had to right. decampify me after we slept outside. Yes, there was mud and dirt. <laughs> well, if that's the a case, couple twigs. then well, he's like, yeah, he can just, yeah, he can just. It, okay, you need me. You need me to hold anything? Your bag or anything? She puts her bag down in the sand, grabs his hand, and starts running towards the, the beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he pulled. He pulled the lane. The cats are not having it. Oh, I figured they wouldn't. Toshi and Nikit are just like... Beza doesn't go in the water either. She doesn't have to breathe, but she's She'll also going to sink. You have to breathe in order to get you out of the bottom. That's true. <laughs> you don't have to be in the... It's not to the bottom of the ocean. It's just the beach. It depends on how far she swims. That's true. Or walks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. And the oh. mechanical bit. Yeah, I imagine she like... probably swam before, but she isn't entirely sure she wants to be, like, at the bottom of an ocean for an unknown amount of time. That's fair. 
So, side question. Mm -hmm. Since Airshale is is a rock, right? Mm -hmm. What happens if that rock becomes molten? And then is suddenly... Thanks, cooled. murderer. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is suddenly cooled with water, right? And so all of the gas inside said rock expands rapidly and creates airshale pumice. Could we make Beza floaties? <laughs> oh. That was a long walk there, Kyle. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, it's I really it. important that you ask the big questions. I think the logic is sound. Um, mm -hmm. It's extremely sound. As a former Goa, <laughs> how dare you? And a current Goa. <laughs> yeah, how dare you? Um, can we make floaties? Uh, no, I mean, I I choose not to answer that question. <laughs> Maureen, you, you lost all of your air because we threw it on top of Baze's molten air shell form and made no, floaties no, no. I, out of it. No, no. I was not suggesting that we melt Beza. I was suggesting that we do it with other air shale and make her floaties that she could then strap to herself like Rock Lee's leg weights. I feel like the theory is sound, but also because Beza weighs so much, it would take a whole shit ton of pumice. This is this is how we got on the whole you can't make water wet. And the water wings and the little floaties yes. around the ankle. Can't get upside down. I and a light vest. I'm I'm sorry, Angela. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're giving me time to prep. Please continue <laughs> talking. <laughs> You're fine. This is what I was saying. Just can Beza get stoned but if we put more air shale on top of her? That's not what that word means. I don't care. That's my biggest issue with this whole premise is that's not a word. You're not using words right. So, I mean, the the opposite question is also true, is that would she then be able to get her rocks off? <laughs> I'm just going to walk this way a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go for it. You're gonna walk towards them or away from these figures? Um, honestly, probably away. I'll probably right. take my boots off and step in the water a little bit, but I won't spend long doing that. Um, I do want to keep an eye on them, though. Do, do they seem to have noticed us? Are they approaching? They are not paying. They do not seem to be changing their behavior at all. What do they look like? On... What do they look like? What are they just standing there or? No, they're walking. Uh, if you study them a little bit to kind of like get a vibe for what they're doing, you see one of them is meticulously walking back and forth from the ocean back up the beach a little bit. And the other one is, uh, well, you hear, you hear a pan flute. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see uh, a um, you you see them kind of doing a little like a little jig as they're walking, and eventually you just hear the the pan flew a little closer. This is a walrus and a carpenter bit. I am very <laughs> upset. It's not. I wish it was. No, Amazing that you say that. Um, it's definitely not what's going on, but um, I do but love yeah. it. Um, I'm coming closer. For sure, sure. Paying attention, just in case. Um, and uh, and yeah, so you, as they get closer, you see that, um, they're just they're just two, two folks. <laughs> um, actually, you um, you see one of them appears to be an elven woman, with uh, with uh, sort of um, sort of like a a dark tan skin, uh. Uh, very dark brown hair and um, blue eyes, like very like icy blue. Um, and the other person who is playing a pan flute uh, is a uh, looks like a tiefling. Um, mm. 
He's got pale skin, kind of flat, but uh, almost like sheep-like ears that kind of stick out. Um, little little horns and a little f like f f like a hairy tail. Um, and he's uh, he's got pale skin and red hair, and the red hair is just braided to all heck, uh, like very messy braids and such. Um, I have the pan flute. And the elf. Uh, the pan flute guy is the one that is playing the flute. Obviously, that's a really terrible description. And the, the woman is the one who is pacing the beach. <laughs> Welcome to the name of the game, Chris, which is everyone's attractive. Huh. Um, I hate CW it. show. It's fine. Seriously. Someday you'll encounter unpleasant people. But today is not that day. Today is not that day. Um, no. if they, if I see, if if I can hear clearly that this individual is playing their pan flute, I'm gonna mm -hmm. listen for a few seconds and then pull out my sewer and try to start playing like a very uh, subtle accompaniment. Accompaniment. I can never say that word. Accompaniment. Accompaniment. As you do, there's a slight, there's a slight hitch in the flute, and then you hear like a little sharp tone, and it kind of picks up what you're throwing down, and you're, you're kind of playing across the beach with each other. Um, uh, and you're duetting across the beach. Um, and you get a little close, and they get a little closer. Uh, the pan flutist uh, actually kind of picks up his pace a little bit, and uh, the the elven woman is not still very meticulously going back and forth across the beach. Uh, you do note that she has some sort of staff in her hand that she is like canvassing the sand with as she's trap as she's moving, um, and. Uh, and they, they, the the flautist comes up and uh, sort of hails you down with a with a wave, and uh, he he uh, well no he keeps he, he tucks his pan flute under his poncho he's got a little holster there for it and uh, sort of jogs up on the sand and uh, he's got a big grin on his face and he says, "Oh hey there, hello, hello." I haven't seen you lot around here before. We could arguably say the same. Ah. <laughs> A lovely spot. It's a good view. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, who, who, do you live here? Yeah, no, no, we, uh, we wander to and fro. Oh. Well, if this is the fro or the two, mm. which one's the other one? Where is the other one? Oh, all over the island. Oh. Really? Yeah, where are you lot from? I'll just gesture kind of backwards <laughs> towards where we came from. No, really? Uh, maybe. Oh, shit. Holba! This lot's from the city! And Holba looks up, suddenly very interested. Are you now? Oh, well... And she she rushes over a little bit. How the hell did you get out here? Huh. Uh, well, we just walked and then we took a train and then we walked some more we took a train out here kind of it didn't come all the way out this way it stops just outside of the city did you did you want escape huh. i guess so good on you it's uh it's a pleasure uh i'll just shake 
I'm uh, ho ho oh, sorry, uh, Holba. Sure, yeah. And, and this is uh, this lay about is, uh, is my husband Jeffren. Holba and Jeffren. Yep. Um, well, this is. Uh, I'm I'm Oliet, and that's Paru and Valene in the water. <laughs> Uh, the uh, Jeffren chuckles, looking at them like, "Well, they're having a rock good time." Well, you all have earned it, I suppose. Yeah, I you guess. Know, fugitives and all like. Yeah. That's probably accurate. Ah, you know, take your ease. Oh, and then you got a little, a little one. Hello, Nick it and. Uh, Nick and Toshi are like. Um, well, you do got big personalities on you, don't you? Yeah. Oh, you. They're only no pretending idea. to be shy. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is Beza, and that's Harlan. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just a couple of uh, wanderwarts, just a uh, uh, well. Hold was the brains of the operation. Uh, she she uh, combs all the beaches as we go around. Uh, what 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 were you what were you combing for? Were you was there Ooh, something? Uh, I mean anything really. Uh, the um, the beaches near the well near the clockwork cities. There um, they got some interesting things. Uh, sometimes pick up a couple of stray pieces here and there. Can uh, melt them down, uh, sell them off. Looking for anything really scrap. Wait, sell sell them off. That means there's some sort of market somewhere. Oh yeah, all over the place. I mean, you stick to the stick to the coastlines mostly. Don't want to get or or the mountains. Look, look under the mountains. How many fully... villages are there? And she looks confused, like. How many villages? Like that's like asking, well, you know that ocean over there. How many fish you got? It's, it's an island. I mean, so, well, the, to be fair, it it's asking the question as though you had spent your entire life being told there was no ocean. So we're just curious as to oh, what is out here. I gotcha. All right. Um, Whole world, I'll be right back. And Harlan's gonna take off towards towards the towards Paru and Belaine. Okay. Belaine's kind of got his hand up, looking at you all, chatting with them. Uh, friends, is... no problem. I need I need to borrow that map. Yeah, yeah, let me get out of the water. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta get out of the water. Yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Even though you already, you heard all of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so when he gets out of the water, he's like, uh, Harlan, can you like... Uh... Yep. And just he's tap, just tap. And... He's kind of stopping, like... Uh... <sighs> okay. And he retrieves the map, pulls it out. Good thing that's watertight. So Harlan's gonna r run the map over to Oliet, and yeah. maybe maybe you can uh, kind of point out uh, landmarks or where we uh, uh, areas of interest. Well, there's a couple of good cities to visit. Cities, there's not many of those. Uh, but uh, townships here and there. Sure. It's a modest life out here. Not much by way of, uh, you know, we make do. Not been the greatest couple of, uh, well, several decades, I suppose. Is there any good hunting? Uh, a bit, yeah. Um, we we'll mostly f stick to fish. Like I said, second's the coast is probably the smartest idea. Uh, there's a bit of um, kerfuffle you can find if you get a little too close to the cities. 
Is that so you've that? never been to one of the cities? Oh, fuck no. No, my whole family, we were out here when it... When the, uh... When the invasion happened. I, I'd be mighty interested to talk to some of your elders about... You know, the, the local folklore about what happened right about then. There aren't a lot of them left, but sure. Okay. Well, I mean, you have to go across the island to find my folks. Uh, me and Jeffron here, we, uh, when he said we wander, we uh, certainly wander. Hmm. Okay, okay. You all right? You all right, love? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just, you know, my entire worldview is collapsing, so it's fine. I'm just working through that. Um, where's the nearest township to here? Oh, uh, that'd be, uh, be Mithgar. Okay. Um, Mithgar is, uh, oh, it's, you can kind of see it from here. Uh, and she points out at the ocean. And you see across the ocean, there's this tiny line on the skyline, land. There's an island just north of here. It's a big, big honking thing. You have to take a boat, of course, but uh, you might be able to scrounge one up. Is that I mean... the same island where Kronika Forest or Kronika Forest? I don't know what that is, love. Is there a giant uh, no, wall? No, <laughs> uh, DM note that it's not. Um, if you look at the map, it is the thing north of of Chronogram Two. There is a there is an island to the to the top right of the map. It's that map. It's that part. I'll take a little picture for you as a reference. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, so wow. did Pinball give us a timeline at all? Are we on a deadline of some kind, or just this, this he was just hoping you'd get out alive? <laughs> yeah, we don't really have a deadline. Um, I I can check in with him and see if he'd like us to. I, I'm assuming Paro and Valen have caught up at this point. Yeah. Um, I can check in with him and see if he'd like us to take a. Uh, look at some of the townships around. Um, I, I, I mean, he wants just information in general about what's out here, so I, I can't see why it would hurt any. So we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna go out there on a boat. We well, just... I mean, we've been on boats. We've gone further and done crazier things. Yeah, but you know, uh, okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Um, just think about it like being in the book. Yeah, but it's not. Well, I mean, th think about th think about it like uh, you'd be able to tell Uncle Ed about it, and eventually you'll be able to show him. Maybe, hopefully. You left people back there. Oh, we all did. Didn't oh. have much of a choice. I'm Paru. Hi. Oh, hello. Uh, Holba. Nice to meet you. The elven woman shakes her hand. And my husband, Jeffrey. Uh, let me check in with Pinball and see what he wants us to do. I'm. She. <laughs> she takes the stone he gave her um, sure. and holds it. Hi! Checking in. <laughs> Met some folk. There's townships out here? One fairly nearby on an outer island. Do you want us to check that out or stay on mainland? 
fuck yes. Find out what happened from their perspective. Wasn't expecting to get historical context, but that could be valuable. Scratch that, that is valuable. Sure. Be safe, don't die. She'll relay that information. I mean, that makes sense. This could be the story to end all stories. This could be the story oh. to end our story. I hope we're prepared for that. I mean, hopefully there'll be a lot more stories after this, because, I mean... There's been there's been some slow parts to ours too. I mean, there's you know there's a couple nights after I ate some berries that just I'd rather not talk about. I'm only eating a couple. Jeez, <laughs> you're you're fine, Tushy. You're not fine. Well, take it easy on him. No, that's not the one that stole from you. It doesn't matter. It was an operation. <laughs> he was the point. Man. She's not wrong. <laughs> the wheel man's just as culpable Keep as the on their robber. toes. They can't think I'm soft. Oh my god. god. They all know different. Um, no. So, uh, well, so, so, Jeffren, uh, Jeffren goes, well, if you're, um, if you're looking out here for, uh, Bit of rest though before you go go ahead and out i well, okay so the scottish is much easier to jump into it's much harder to go back to the cockney after the after the scottish um i <laughs> i'm gonna end up going terrible aussie apologize to anyone <laughs> oh yay um that's the only thing i can do that's the only thing i can do in aussie um well if you're um uh, you're looking for um heading out there uh, you should take ease for a second, though. You know, take a breath. You just, you just uh, escaped. Uh, well, I don't know what the hell's going on in there, but um, why don't you go? Why don't you come, come hang out with us for a bit. You just uh, enjoy the beach. Uh, Hobbles found some stuff. We got some food, things like that. That you know, just uh, sounds a lovely. Picnic or something. That sounds. I want to pick your brain okay. if it's not too traumatizing. I mean, basically, we uh, survived a clockwork coup, it sounds like. Olba goes, oh, I, I want to know about all that. Well, I'll get the stuff, though. Um, uh, let me, uh, and she she heads over to, um, like, the edge of the, there's like some, some there's like a tree line where the beach is. Mm -hmm. She kind of whistles and uh, and heads back to you guys. Um, it takes a couple minutes as you're kind of chatting a little bit, um, but a uh, there's a there's a dinosaur horse, bringing them back, bringing them back. Uh, you see this two footed clawed creature with a long like it's a horse head, but there's sharp teeth in it. <laughs> there you are, you little so and so. Come on, kind of trots over he's got big bags on it like big bags it's a it's a it's a hauling creature it's it's picking things up for them and uh he uh Homa pulls off the creature um like a pair of what look like folding chairs but they're clearly constructed out of clockwork pieces like out of old like pieces of bronze there's a chance that there are some Modron pieces in there. Um, but, like, it's just it's just scrap. Scrap that she's found on the beach. And, uh... uh just... Real yeah. quick, what, what, are, what are those... He gestures to the raptor horse. Uh, what are those called? Oh, Equestrodons. They're so cute. Oh, we've seen a few of them. I think we ate one. Well, they're uh, they're kind of nasty sometimes, so I don't blame you. And it was definitely a wild one. I, I... Yeah, well, you know, you're in dire straits. You do what you got to. I mean, you're not offending any of us. Certainly not him. Can Things I... are like. 
Can I pet him? Can you? May I? Just count your toes before you try. Make sure you don't lose any. Oh, she's scrambling over. She's so excited. She's like, I'm gonna pet it. Oh, be, be, please be careful. Uh, of course I will. I can, I can, I can mend your shirt, but I can't, I can't mend your yeah. arm. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, she is gonna go over and she is going to go. Oh, you were just so handsome. Yes, you were just a handsome boy. And like, straight for the nose, give scratches. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're so good. You're so cute. I mean, come on. I have a fire lizard as a, as a pet. Give me an animal. Yeah, but that's cute. Give me a. So give me is an this. Let me handle him. And also small. And not did carnivorous. You see the so. <laughs> did you see the pictures that I Anne did sent see the pictures? Twenty-four. But it, it's Paru we're talking about. Um, so you hear kind of. I can't do it really well, I'll do my best, but you hear this like, oh fuck, I can't do this on command for some reason. Nope. <laughs> you hear that kind of noise? Do you need, do you need nice. that noise? Do you need nice. the noise? Nice. Nope, that's okay. I, I no, got what she was good, referencing. Kyle. I got what yeah, she yeah, was yeah. referencing. It's going for a velociraptor noise. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. yeah. And, uh, and you get under its chin and it's just oh, kind of yeah. like... It, it does a little like Jacobson's move, like its teeth kind of, it's like lips kind of curl back a little mm -hmm. bit. It's all sharp teeth. It's really fucking terrifying. <laughs> it's just like, like, yeah, who's a good it's baby? Like, it, it's, like, it's like eyes closed and it's just like really into it. Um, and um, there's a point where it like, it like puts its claws on your shoulder as you do it. Only a having palpitations <laughs> behind, behind Harlan at the same time, like, oh my god. This is it. Just I'd like to put his out. hand back, just like just make leave. sure she's okay. <laughs> Do you want me to like stand guard in case it snaps? I'll just put her in my hand. I mean, I just okay. <laughs> Paru has to breathe. Yeah, but I could get you away for like three seconds. That's true. Hold your breath for three seconds. I could also misty step if I was really in danger. <laughs> oh, well, you're fine. You're fine. But no, you are very confident. This thing is not having a problem with you. It, it has very tame vibes. Yeah. Aw, oh, he's just a big, he's just a big softy. He's just a big softy boy. Yeah, you are. This is absolutely how I talk to my cat all the time, so. This is not a cat. This is, uh, it, audience, I'm this is not that. <laughs> okay. There's nothing cute about what's happening, just so you're aware. Like, Paro's the only cute factor in this game. This is a fucking walking nightmare, so I just want everybody to understand that Oliet is having the logical reaction to this, not Paru. Like, let's stress where the line is. Angela has played in enough games with me to know if you put any sort of creature in front of me that might be considered any sort of domesticatable on any level, it's fucking cute. I still have to question your logic. Oh, but I'm chomp, dump, dump. You know what? I found the most horrifying one, and that's no, the one I'm... she's petting. <laughs> I'm afraid. The one she's petting. This is Bragg. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Angela, no. I have it. Oh, my God. He's so cute. My face is fine. Oh, I love that I have created. I'm this delighted. Was, this is the second time in two campaigns, like in this week, that I have thoroughly disgusted my players and I've never <laughs> felt more powerful. Um, this and a and a mimic. Gosh, not this. Nobody wants to talk to him. Nobody wants to talk to him. I feel so bad. He's such a good boy. Um, it's wonderful. Anyway, sorry, Chris. You can just look. Fine, fine. You know what? I'll no, I can't in. look away. It's like the it's like the, the wreckage after a twenty car pileup. Yeah, I'm gonna hold look. on. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna put it in spoiler I'm... tag so you don't have to look at it so again. Okay, I just I can't even. I'm tr I'm struggling to like apply language to what I'm looking at. It's literally like <laughs> a Clydesdale with pectorals and raptor arms. <laughs> okay, I didn't know the pectorals. Okay, I didn't I didn't know the pectorals. It's fine. Um, it's just I okay. love it. I love it. So. Uh, anyway. Paru is 
extremely questionable. I like them. I, I think, think they're, they're interesting. Cute. Well, I don't think they're cute. I think they're fascinating. I think they're fascinating. As an enjoyer of like, this game. game. It As makes a me... character, this is a nightmare. Yeah, it makes me think of like the fly, but instead of a human and a fly, it's a horse and a raptor. It's just disturbing and not a fun combo. Not okay. Anyway, so uh, Jeffren goes, no, not Jeffren, because I'm, I'm, I'm in the Scottish now. Um, so uh, Holva, uh, Holva goes, why? Rag doesn't usually take the newcomers that quickly. You got quite a hand there, Faru. Thank you. Hmm. I'm just happy it's still attached to a body. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> uh, you don't want to get on his bad side. She'll, let, she'll so, let him be. She doesn't want to push his limit, so. She's good enough at reading animal body language to know, like, okay, he's done. Yeah, so, um, so Holba is, uh, Holba's reaching, uh, over for Bragg and also does kind of, like, a little shakeout of his mane and, uh, goes into the bags that are, that are attached and grabs basically a, like a barrel, like a, like a small barrel. And when she pries it open, you see it's basically a cooler. Um, has food and stuff in it. And she also, uh, she and Jefferin bust out enough stuff to make, um, a little fire, um, like a little bonfire. You go find some rocks and things. You make a little, like, sort of fire pit in the sand. And, uh, and yeah, so you guys just, like, kind of set up a little camp. What time and is it at this point? It's, uh, it's probably, af like, late afternoon. Okay. So um, she's like, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll make food. Um, I mean, if Beza, if you want to go find something else, you can uh, um, a little more than just trail rations. I can definitely odd, uh, We still have some. Um... She she looks over at Bragg. We still have some equestrian jerky. Hmm. Maybe we'll wait for that. Maybe we'll save that for later. Right. I don't think they have any on Mythgar, so uh, I think you'll be safe there. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what lives around here that's not sentient? Well, there's like rabbits and such, little things. Okay, that's easy. And she'll go off to go looking for. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and give me a go ahead and give me a survival check. Got any fishing poles? I oh no yeah, yeah. Sixteen. 16, you're great. You you pick up a few. Go ahead and roll me a d6. Five. You get five rabbit. Probably as much rabbit as Beza's like, entire torso, so she comes back with like an arm full of rabbits. Nice. Uh, so, Harlan, what were you doing? Uh, just seeing if they had, like, uh, fishing, oh, fishing rod and tackle. And... Yeah, Jeffren, Jeffren's like, uh, definitely... Uh, here you go. Let's... He uh, offers. I've totally lost him. <laughs> totally lost the cockney. Um, Just keep thinking Vinnie Jones. Vinnie Jones. Not helping. Dick Van Dyke? Harry Poppins. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was literally going for that, too. I was like, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah, we've got, um, nope, still Scottish. Fuck, I lost it. Anyway, so Jeffren, Jeff, uh, <laughs> Um, he hands you the fishing pole, um, and there's some bait, and it, honestly, he's got two of them, because the two of the, the pair of them go fishing. So, uh, so yeah, you two go wading out into the water. I'll cast guy go, go before he gets too far away. You do what? I said I'll cast Guidance on Harlan before oh, it gets too far away. I misheard that, anyway. He cast Guidance, sure, to help him out. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Cast sounds like something else. Um, when you say it quickly. Oh. Anyway. So, sorry, my shipping heart will not cease. Um, so, we yeah, you go out of the water. We're on the coast. Uh, so, you, yeah, you go, you go uh, casting. Um, Paru and Valene, you are there with Holba, with the, kid, with the, uh, the kids, too. Uh, they kind of huddle near the fire a little bit. You guys cold? No, it's just nice. It's warm. It, it, it's, just, it's just like warm. Warm is good. Mm. 
Valine kind of uh, staring out at the at the water a little bit. It's nearby though, kind of chiming in every so often. Uh, but Holba is asking all sorts of questions. So there's a there's a big population in the in the cities then of non non uh, clockwork. Yeah, um, most of the... Uh, Angela, you'll have to forgive me if, if I am making... Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. make uh, it up. I don't care. Most of the clockwork <laughs> uh, folks seem to be primarily, um, like, city workers and guard and things like that, but there is quite a lot of, um, as they say, or as the, the, we are called, organic... Um, organics... Uh, in out throughout right. the different uh, chronicers. Chronicler. Uh, it's kind of like you a. Could you, could you like spell it out? And she like hands you her notebook that she's taking notes in. She spells it out. Sure. Um, uh, you said chronogram is what you call the cities. Mm-hmm. And then, so you've got the different chronicers and the different chronograms and. Mm-hmm. Everything's Kronos, and right. It, we've heard that word before. Everything is very, everything's connected by what they call the metronome, and it it makes it everything is literally driven by clockwork. Everything is done according to a schedule that is set by the the modrons, and yeah, it's. They're even telling har- uh, farmers wh- how they should harvest for maximum output and not taking any sort of interest or account of how natural cycles need to be worked with the land. And s- well, everything's about really maximizing. Their, uh, yeah, everything's all about maximization of yield and output rather than and, if- and efficiency rather than proper care it's not great have they been getting any of the um do you get any of the surges out there in there i mean of chaos oh hey that's the one thing to be careful out here yes We've seen a couple of them. <laughs> she starts like laughing when you say yes, you get them in there too. Like so all this trouble, the whole thing, 50 years, 60 years of just occupation, colon- colony, they saved the world and they still get that shit in there. Well. <laughs> And was it worse? Like it like started up again when we got back, or was it still going? No, it's left? always it's been getting worse. Yeah, it's been steadily getting worse as well. <laughs> All right. Almost like when you take okay, one part of the world out of balance, the rest of it deteriorates. Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. That, that part's not funny. <clears throat> Sorry. No, it's all right. But, uh, yeah, there's been, uh, there's been earthquakes, things like that. A couple of, uh, oh, on the south side of the island, there's been, uh, there's been a number of, uh, volcan- volcanoes woke up. Wow. Last couple of years. Still going. It's a lot churning around down there, I think. Hmm. That is... Worrying. Hey, a lot of people just decide to leave. If they can. It's a little hard. Well, one for one, there's not much of a coming and going. Oh yeah. I I I, I don't know of anybody aside from us who have ever left the cities. Well, there haven't been many people that have left the island. Well, or at least the. Uh, the sea around it. 
there's not much left after everything kind of went kaput. They show up and there was quite a bit of resistance and they, and they quelled that pretty quick. I don't know anything about it. Nobody can remember anything. What? Well, like, that was like a... It wasn't that long ago. I mean... They changed the I mean, maps. All, they hid them away. You're all... They had some sort of sweet. memory magic on those of us who are older. I was gonna say, you all seem pretty young. The gentleman who, who put us forth on this journey, his name is Pinball, he's much older and he said he was alive when it happened and he has no recollection. He didn't even remember the name of... We all know the island as Kronos. We've never even heard that it was actually called Thuria. All of that information has been hidden away in vaults of knowledge that they deem unsafe. They altered memories. Maps. Actual memories. All, all those people. All of them. I assume so. I don't know what that would mean. What to do? I don't... Sorry, that's not really my uh, forte. Well, it's one of the reasons we're out here is to find out what's actually happened and what the actual truth is and maybe we can start finding a way to fight back. gonna drive Mechanus away. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, I d not to be not to be patronizing or nothing. Just the likelihood of that just feels real slim. Um, I'm I'm sure. But you have to do something. You can't just sit and let them walk all over everything. And that's why we're out here. Well, that's not why we're out here, but it's what we're doing out here, like eking out a little bit of an existence. I mean, Jeffrey and I, we get around, we see what's left of the island, the sea. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful place. Yeah. Not necessarily one I'd want to bring kids up in, but, uh, you know. Still has its charms. Yeah, kids are resilient, at least. She says a little bit bitterly. You, uh, you catch a little bit of Volane kind of glancing over their shoulder at that. Sorry. Not engaging with the conversation. He's a little far away. I know it's not on. Are you okay, bud? You just hear in your head? Yeah, I'm fine. Just uh, enjoying the view. Don't mean to be a downer. It's alright. Um, those who don't kowtow and fit the mold are taken to what's called reacclimation centers. Yeah, acclimating, like really acclimating to the. Uh... That's how we all met as kids. Oh, I don't have kids. Just the oh, fuck. Basil was Why? only a couple days old. Her eyes get real wide. <laughs> I was three. Alright, hold on. I've got reorient. Villain's like, yeah. I mean, Basil look like that. <laughs> That's true. Three. That's true. Yeah, I wasn't like, yeah, just quite fine. Oh my god. We are anomalies. Oh, you. Yeah. Clearly, getting up here. But you know, maybe you can do some good. It's all anomaly. So, sorry, didn't mean to get depressing. Sorry, 
Oh, sorry. I'm sorry I didn't get more, um... Sorry I don't have more information for you. I'm uh. mostly just scrounge around. I mean... It, uh, well, uh... So, well, I've been able to gather, but little I do know. Um... There were some, uh, Fights out on the beach, I think. Something happened. Uh... A bunch of the, uh, clockwork folks. Little fellas. Uh... Seem like they got torn up by something. Just make it out, really. Uh, out here on the beach, wow, a long time ago. Wait, is that Decade. where Vector was? Or was he no, further he down? He down. Oh, that's right. Like, in the earth. Well, that would be where the, uh, all that chaos. Brewing, wouldn't it? Yep. Are they... There were um, craters or uh, kind of holes bursting out from what I rem well, oh, I don't remember, but uh, people who were there. There were a couple cities just gone. A matter of hours. Wow. Some of them were just out in the middle of nowhere, though. Those were the lucky ones. A couple of them hit the waters. Those were a little less lucky. Kind of filtered down into the uh, into places down there. Just poisoned a whole lot. It's just wasteland down there. Wow. Yeah, it's caused quite a stir. And it's all pretty um, entrenched at this point. We just assumed that the. Uh, oh, seems like we're right. The little uh, mechanist fellas are looking just to be in their own little space. I guess. Does it even seem like they're doing anything? Are they? doing anything about it. All I know is a Vector, who is a, a Modron, who is a very interesting fellow. Um, he <laughs> was part of plumbing the chaos and something went wrong and now he is very much the antithesis of their goals. They're all about, uh, he's all about forming the resistance against Mechanus. Oh. One. Yeah. But he's determined. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I wish the little one all best of luck, then. Me too. <laughs> well, how about I see to making that food? And she, uh, she's checking on it. You guys have had something kind of grilling, basically. Found some rabbits. Oh, aye. Let's, uh, should, uh, should dress those. And she goes over and helps you, Beza. You guys work on it. Um, Oliet and Paru and, uh, Belaine are left at the oh, fire. Yeah. The kids are coming out. Was oh. not, no. Oh, you weren't there not. for that. Okay. I was what? off down a ways... Um, I would have taken my shoes and my, or I just took my shoes. I would have taken my fishnet off, my, my hose. Oh, my. And, um, I mean, my skirt's long enough. It covers most Oh, everything. I just meant, I just meant, like, you're committed to, to hanging out on the beach, then. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go sit in the surf, um, like, okay. just within your shot, so I'm probably catching most of this, but, um, sure. okay, I have the waves get a little loud, but summon my mage hand to function as a writing desk and I'm just taking notes. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, you're watching the book. Take fish. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, Harlan, you're getting along with Jeffren. Jeffren's a, he's a nice guy. He he plays music. He likes to fish. He's a simple man with a simple life. He's very happy. He, um, he and his wife, uh, she's the one with the kind of grand 
hobby. <laughs> Even though it's, you know, it is just basically melting things down and selling it for scrap, but, you know, she's interested in the history and stuff, and he's, she's older than him by a lot, and, and he, he just sort of wades through life quite literally right now, but, um, but yeah, he's not really, not that he's not concerned, but he doesn't have the history. He, like, he, you get the vibe that Holba was around for a lot of that, and it was probably grown. She just wasn't there for most of it. Um, but he wasn't, he wasn't even a glint in his parents' eye. His parents were children when that happened. Um, so he's just kind of, don't really know what, uh, wow, really lost it, like, just completely out of my head. That's amazing. Um, yeah, so we were, um, uh, you know, we just go from place to place, uh, have a good time, found some, uh, found some really pretty beaches, and, uh, we just live our life. Yeah, I mean, we've, uh, I, I've, that's pretty much been my, <laughs> my cup of tea as well, uh, moving from place to place, and, uh, you know, never really settling down, um, in one spot. None of the road, nope, that's Scottish, damn it. It's fine, I should just ignore it. Um, <laughs> man of the road, yeah, I got you. Uh, yeah. As, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm from a, I'm from a family that's, uh, that stayed in one place for, for oh, yeah. uh, a few generations, you know, we're, we're farmers. Huh? Um, you know, so I, I be, I'll be used to it in case uh, I end up settling down hmm. somewhere. You find yourself a, a good partner and you find something compatible for the two of you. No Brussels sprouts. Oh, more than two, you know, not here to judge. I mean, you know, but then again, you know, take take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm really fucking high right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just cast the pussy. No, I mean... <laughs> Can I, can I tell you something? I mean, I don't have any more on me. No. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The only question Oli wanted to ask. I can't hear any of this. <laughs> yeah, what's your question? Well, it wasn't a question. I was going to tell you something. Oh, uh, well, go ahead. Tell me something. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've, I've never actually been st steady with someone before. So this is oh. all up new territory for me, oh, and I'm not. Are, then. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm it, what I'm doing. Oh, I think I'm in deep waters here. It's pretty shallow right now. He grins at you. Oh, you can one, tell. One of, your, one of your friends. He looks very gossipy right now. I won't he tell like, anyone. I mean, you don't know me from Peter, so. I mean, what he smirks, it's like... What do I tell? The, the, the one that looks most strongly resembles me. That's an awkward sentence. <laughs> she, I mean, she, she's blue and I'm blue. You mean the, oh, you mean the lady with the blue skin? You, you, right. you, all, you two don't look alike. You should maybe find a different way to identify her. Um, yeah, it's like looking in a mirror. Ugh. <laughs> maybe just don't. Maybe yeah. just don't. Yeah. Oh, if you want to go steady with someone, maybe like nix on those jokes. I, I mean, I, I'm, I don't know you from Pat. Jeffrey, and only it's wingman right now. <laughs> don't maybe don't make the relation jokes. Um, sorry. No. Um. So you never never been steady with someone, but I mean, you guys talk about like. You like liking each other, right? Like that's a that's a thing you talk about. I'm, I mean, not in so many words. It's it's more, been more of a it's been more of a, a roundabout series of metaphors that just keep mm. circling the topic until. So it's like a smolder kind of thing. Uh, at at this point, I think all it will all it will take is a gust of wind. At this point, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> And he's just like, oh, you poor boy. Yeah, um, I got you. Um, well, um, 
you see, me and the missus, we, um, we, we were a little like that, you know, for a while, just kind of dancing around each other. It's a thing, you know, it happens. You know, you, you're trying to live your life. It's, it's, it's a weird thing to bring up sometimes, you know, you don't really know how to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, but, if you genuinely like someone and you want to tell them that you genuinely like them, the best way to go about that typically is to tell them you genuinely like them. Yeah, it's just, I, it's, I don't, I don't want to. We look suspicious, cast in the egg. Oh, cast, right, cast right. In. <laughs> yeah. yeah, um. It's amazing. Well, um, I, I, I just, we, we've Gotta known keep each the other. Work going. Yeah, yeah. We, we've known each other for, we've known each other for so long that it's like, yeah, I just don't want to, I don't want to. That's wanna, the beauty of it, right? I mean, you, you, you build a. I mean, yeah, it can sometimes... Okay, you know someone for a long time. You, tell, you, you, you develop feelings, right? You, you, you want to you wanna tell them you want to do something more than just be friends or just be, you know, whatever it is you all are. Um, but, uh, you know, worst case scenario, if you're, if you're good friends and you tell them and they don't feel the same way, you know, you just... You just... You try to go on being friends, you know. Nip that in the bud early. You don't, you don't pine so long that it destroys things when they say they don't like you. You tell them right away, so you know if there's like a thing there. And then well, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. No worries. So be friends. I mean, so she she mentioned that there were Brussels sprouts on the table waiting to be eaten. Oh I shit, heard. man! She said that. All right. Yeah. Well, you need to definitely talk to her. I would, <laughs> no, not gonna, not gonna go. No, I'm not gonna. I have questions about the metaphor, but it, it seems I, mean, like I do not know the lady in question very well, and it seems like it would be very untoward for me to ask questions like, like, did she mention how they were going to be prepared? <laughs> no, but anyway, that, that was it's me. Fine. It's fine. I, I, I mentioned, I mentioned how they, how they might be prepared. That, um, uh, you know that. This is, this is a long tail on this kite. Um. <laughs> anyway, anyway, they end up having some weird metaphorical guy talk. Uh, that basically, Jeffrey comes down to this point. I see the name. She's uh, she's put herself out there, at least a little. And uh, you know, you don't have to have like a big talk, like capital T, but. Little things, little gestures, little, little reassurances that you you're on the same page. That can help. With me and the missus, it was all about communication. Once we got over that whole like being chicken shit about talking to each other, yeah, it's one of my love languages. Actually, words of affirmation. Have I been chicken shit? Well, you know, just a little. You seem like a ripe bloke. You seem like a like a real. Uh, you seem like a real straight shit you are on most things. Well, no, I mean, I, I was I was planning on saying something to her, uh, but there was we got out of the city before I could go back and get it. Uh, it was just get your words. Uh, yeah, you I got your down. words. I put them down on something. Yeah, you wrote them down. Oh, I didn't okay. write them down. I couldn't write at the time. But you can now. Well, I can dictate. Well, there you go. All right, all right. Well, um, I can only give you so much advice beyond just, uh, well, you know. I sure appreciate this fishing. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's a big, it's a, you know, not great bites right now, but you know, it's about quality, not quantity. Yep. That's a change of pace. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you did say you never go steady, but good job, man. Holy shit, Kyle Taylor. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, man. <laughs> and scene. Whew. I didn't need to know the answer to that question, Chris. I, I looked in the <laughs> chat. I didn't, I didn't know. What about royalties? Anyway, sorry. 
Um, so <laughs> Very spicy, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Faiza, what what are you up to? You're you're dressing the rabbits with um with Holba. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So so yeah, the kids um the kids eventually kind of wander over. They're paying attention as there's oh food. Mm-hmm. Uh, they and brag the horse is like you kind of glance <laughs> over and just see them all kind of like looking. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, you help, you help hold, uh, um, and you guys get the whole, it, it's so ironic, like, you are the most skilled at preparing food. Um, it's hilarious. Um, preparing it, wild food. The kids are watching and look interested beyond just, like, oh, there's food soon. She would offer to show them on, like, the smallest rabbit. Uh, Toshi looks back at Nicket, and Nicket's like, go on. Right. He kind of goes up. So you got to be careful not to nick anything on the inside when you're doing this. But you, if you put the knife here, you can you can kind of move it this way. Yeah. And, then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so you show Toshi. Um, let's see how he does. Does he learn? Yes, he does. He can be taught. Um, so yeah, he seems like he actually takes like takes to the process pretty well he's he's pretty he's pretty deft he's good with a knife so <laughs> you're like oh if things had come to a come to blows uh back in the place he might have been helpful um and uh and yeah so you you show him and then toshi's just like yeah he's doing stuff like this kind of but um most of it's just people have already done the work <laughs> hmm. yep it's a useful skill to have though especially if you ever go hunting well, I guess we're going to probably do that a lot now. Yep. If you want to keep learning, I don't mind teaching you. Oh, okay. I don't mind. I mean, I'm good at looking out for things, so. That's definitely an important place to start. <laughs> Thanks, Visa. Yeah, you're welcome. She... She doesn't say anything because she's not sure how to articulate it, I don't think. But she's definitely thinking about probably like her first few days with Sir Tuskendale. Mm. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's, it's fine, Your Majesty. I don't know what's happening. I'm just having fatherly <laughs> pangs. I was so calling uh, Toshi her squire because she doesn't know how that would go now that she knows like a little more about how this world works. Suddenly I have a grand squire! Mm. <laughs> yes, I have learned I'm not sure I'm happy now. But part of her is like, hey, I'm getting to teach someone now. Oh, the grand square. <laughs> and at my age, too. I'm sorry. Your Majesty, I think I have a grand kitten. <laughs> you would, of all of us. Oh. You would be the one who has a grand kitten. So, uh, Paru. Mm-hmm. Um... There's a point where Valaine kind of walks away from the fire a little bit, grabs some food, um, and plops down, looking out at the ocean. She makes, she gets some and makes her way over. Mind if I sit? Oh yeah, go ahead. Just kind of rubbing her eye a little bit. What's on your mind? her sleep. Still getting used to the things. It still hurts a little bit. Do you need me to heal you up, or? No, I think it's just... I don't think it's injured. It's just... Sore? Yeah. Squinting a little bit as he's looking out. Do you want to take it out for a bit? (sighs) Yeah, I will in a bit. I just want to see the sun a bit more. That's fair. You seem not tense, but almost anxious. You keep staring out at the ocean, and I'm just wondering what's going on in your head, that's all. Yeah. 
especially one that actually, I guess I can't say actually exists because, you know, everything at home feels real enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's your hand feeling? Full of junk. <laughs> How about the connection? Feeling closer to normal or still ir is it as irritating as the eye? Not irritating, just weird. Getting a little used to it though. That's good. I'm looking at it and it moves, but I don't really uh, feel much out of it. That's probably a problem. I should talk to Pimple about it. Mm. I feel like I should probably be able to like respond better. May I see? And she holds out a hand foot. She um, okay. kind of turns it over a little bit and just... Yeah, you see the dots on the finger pads, the little metal connector, little um, touch pads that seem to be the activation for the uh, the hand of holding. Which you're doing right now. Huh. So it's well named. She eventually kind of looks it over and goes up to where the the connection is and just kind of experimentally like starts to gently massage right around where the connector is to see if she can get any uh like if there was a pinched nerve or something to kind of it's all mechanics out. it's not really there's not really nerves just... i meant further up on his where it's actual skin oh it's it's up like here oh, okay so yeah she she eventually yeah, you guys took the whole you guys took like the whole forearm okay then she, um then she actually goes if she, she asks permission if it's okay and then she'll like kind of rub the muscle around to see yeah. if she can get yeah sure you just kind of sit there for a little while mm -hmm. still staring out at this at the sky and the island in the distance are you excited to go? I guess. It's just... I mean, I'm kind of with Oliette on this one. It's weird. Just people out here just living. Yeah. I mean, it's what we were used to back in the book, and but here it's so jarring to see. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I always assumed that everything was just dead out here. Yeah. You know? Wasteland. I mean, that's what we're told, that there was nothing out here. Too dangerous. Everything was chaos and turmoil. I think no matter what we end up choosing is as long as we're all together I think everything's gonna be fine you know I guess I should have been so oh, go no, ahead. no no go ahead please continue to be sage <laughs> well, I don't know if I was being sage or foolish but It's okay if your urge is to just go and never return to this place. I understand that feeling. And I don't mean you as a person, I just mean anyone who's come out of the situation that we're in. Yeah, I... It's worth. I'm glad you're here with us. Thanks. I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Let oh, you. Oh no, you, you, you stay. Okay. She sits down next to him and just kind of. takes a bit of a breath and then leans in up against his arm just a little bit. 
and tries to, to do it. To go like she's just eating her food, and, like nothing's different. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, though, that there were things out here. <laughs> Even if everything was all... <sighs> garbage. It'd get better eventually. He kind of looks out and... <sighs> Even flowers that fade in the fall are merely asleep till winter. That sounds like bullshit somebody made up. She grins at him. Yeah, it's just something. Sorry. Just something he said once. Really? Yeah, he said, uh, said the love of his life told him that once. That's something I said to the Queen of Trade about you. Par, you notice Valene kind of, his chest tightens a little bit? And he, he reaches up to his throat. Are you okay? He doesn't look like he can breathe. Harlan, Oliet, Shabaza. What? What's happening? I don't know. Um, she she grabs she gets in front of him and grabs his hands and looks like trying to be. You're okay. He just keeled over. His head's, his face is red, and he no. can't breathe. He's like, he's no, like, no, 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 no. She's gonna start medicine checking to like, do what she can mm -hmm. to help him. Yeah, you go ahead and give me medicine check. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh. He looks like he is choking. Um, I mean, you know enough to, like, you know how to, like, do Heimlich, basically. She'll, she'll, she'll do anything that she thinks will be helpful at this point is things she will do. Yeah. So, so. yeah, go ahead. Uh, give me, um, I mean, honestly, do you all, do you all kind of yeah. brush yeah. over when you hear mm -hmm. that? Um, you probably need to get someone stronger than... Oh, actually, how strong are you? I have a 16 strength. Oh, then yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and give me a strength check. Okay. Yes, yeah, she, she, she tiny Just but mighty. Head, but... <laughs> tiny but mighty. Yeah. Tiny but mighty. 17. Yeah, you... um. You basically do CPR. Like, you do chest compression. Like, you're kind... Of, you're just trying to dislodge whatever's mm -hmm. going on. And... He, like turns purple before you're able to do anything substantial and you watch as he starts coughing and seawater just he coughs seawater up and he oh kind of keels over to the side and there's just he's just coughing up water like he had swallowed a whole bunch of it she stays away with him you're okay you're okay you're okay <sighs> When his eyes are wide, he looks terrified. I'm right here. What the fuck was that? I knew this was gonna happen. <sighs> what? What do you mean? We're not. We're not free. We're not free of it. <laughs> You're okay. Just keep. Keep your head between your legs. I think that's a thing, right? If you don't have a, just yeah, keep sure. breathing. I'm gonna grab the book out of my bag and start scribbling furiously to 
to try to describe what's happening and ask if there's anything that we can do the words means anything the words i said to the queen of the trade he just repeated back to me and said that the asshole said them to him one time and that they were words from the love of his life and i'm and then he couldn't breathe and don't repeat them just write them down she she writes them down now if okay now it, this is going to sound a little strange but <laughs> f follow me on this Valene now when when that was happening okay tell us what you were thinking about but don't think about it right now think about yeah, purple I, elephants yeah okay no, I'm serious. I'm 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 serious. Like it was, if it was, if it's like messing with your mind, then it might be something that you thought as opposed to something that you said. I cast detect thoughts. Okay. Okay. So you cast detect thoughts, yet and as as Harland is sort of pulling, like directing Valene, you hear. Valene's surface thoughts. So, at first, you hear, like, fucking hell, I couldn't breathe. I was just, like, getting underwater. It was... It was, like... It was, like, what she did. And as he thinks that, he starts coughing again, and he can't breathe. Oh, goes back to doing what she... Okay. We'll say you can do it again. Um, it takes longer this time, and he's freaking out. His eyes are wide. He's his eyes are watering, and eventually he coughs up more seawater. There's like seaweed that comes out, and like, yeah. Okay, eyes right here. Just, just right here. Nothing else. You're safe. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to no, do no, that no. again. No, 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 no. Don't do it again. Not do it again. I'm sorry that you, I'm sorry that you felt that. I'm sorry you went through that again, but it did confirm something for us. What? What? I mean, I I can surmise that you were thinking something that not that was not purple elephants. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna kneel down in the sand. Okay. Nothing's gonna happen to you. We're not gonna let anything happen to you. We have to do it one more time. So you have to. I don't have much longer. I can't hold on to this much longer, and I have to get at what's in there. You have to let me in. I am right here. Haru, get behind him so you can. I am not going to let anything happen to you. Just, Just. let me in. It's okay. he he makes eye contact with you all yet he nods a little he's got like tears just eye watering tears but probably more than that at this point okay what do you do think about it again i don't know what it is the words whatever it is you're still connected to his surface thoughts mm -hmm. so like as that was happening you were getting like oh god oh god i can't breathe i can't breathe do you go I want deeper? I want to go deeper, and I'm willing him, I'm asking him to okay. willingly save and let me pass by so I can get deeper. Okay. Yeah, he will. He will let you yeah. in deeper. And you go deeper than his surface thoughts. He's breathing, because he's trying, he's trying not to think about the thing that happened, but you're just kind of delving deeper. You... You see a lot of kind of you hear a lot of things that are sort of, I'll, I'll give you like the gist instead of like actual quotes, but you hear, you still hear a lot of shame, a lot of um, guilt about everything. He, he's still thinking about what he almost did to you and feeling pretty fucking awful. Um, there's a little bit of being 
relieved to still be welcome. He missed you all a lot. You get a weird one. Uh, uh, when you when you do speak with uh, detect thoughts, do you just get like words? Do you know um, the nature of it? I can gain insight into its reasoning, emotional state, anything large looming large in its mind. Okay. So yeah. okay, you there's a big shadow over things. There's a lot of there's a lot of trauma he's still processing about just losing control. And then you hit a wall. Not him fighting you. There is a block like like a thick fog you cannot see past okay <clears throat> out loud so i can still talk to him and like ask them questions um i i'm just asking vague questions to try to prompt this again like okay. almost like That's fine. uh so yeah just asking like where did the seawater come from? What was who's the love of his life? What is this? What are you talking about? And I'm trying to get something to like start spinning in here. Yeah. You uh, you start saying all these things, and he shakes his head a little bit, like he doesn't want to, but it's it's purple elephants. Um, and that cloud sort of washes away a little bit um, it gets thinner and as you all experience him choking again drowning again um Elliot, you catch a couple of very very strong things from him Her Majesty of the Trade. He is terrified of her. He... She watched him fall to this. She pushed him. Harlot's gonna cut a bitch. Um, I, I, I'm. I can't really super focus on what my friends are doing, so I'm just kind of trusting that they're compressing the water out of his lungs mm -hmm. so that he can get air in. Yeah. And um, I honest, like I imagine that tears are streaming down my own face at this point, and I'm just like holding on his shoulders. We're almost there. We're almost done. And in, not in the mind link with the book, because I don't want to expose any of this without their permission. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to, while I'm in there, like, move the cloud. Like, tell me more. You have to tell me, you have to keep going. We're, we're so, so close. You get the sense this isn't in his control, this glimpse. He's not letting you in. You're peering in as the like floodgates are opening a little bit. He's not doing it. But do he... I... Go ahead. No, I'll ask your question. I was going to say, do I get the sense when I'm asking these questions and probing that... Because something is responding. Do I get the sense that it's something else responding or that the lane is unable to let me in further? Does that make sense? That one. Like... That one. Like he'd almost put up his own block or had a gaius or something put on him. 
Okay. 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 I will. I'll. I'll let go. Physically and when you, mentally. When, when you let go and you kind of get back into the scene, uh, Haru, it's taking too long. Like he's, no, it no, no, takes no, no, no. Way more time than it should. He, you, you do manage to, but um, but yeah, he's just like he's just like retching and wheezing more the seawater comes out and he's just on the sand and he's just crying Haru kind of scoops I mean she can't hold much of him but she like scoops as much of his top of their top half into her arms and just kind of holds and, and kisses the top of his head no more no more you're all done not happening again I promise He's just, he's just crying. He's holding on really tight. I think, um, how close are we to the water? You're probably... 20 feet? Okay, no. yeah. Harlan, Harlan is going to uh, lean down and kind of um, go, like, Par, Paru's holding on to them. Um, so Harlan's going to basically like scoop Paru up okay. on, uh, like behind her knees and scoop them up behind their knees and like basically like stand up and just start walking them away from the water. Okay. Yeah. More towards the uh, like probably like the weird tufts of grass that are over near the fire there. too. Yeah. Like, did you just... mm -hmm. The, kid, up, up the kids from the tide are zone. very confused and very scared. Yeah. Beza runs ahead of Harland and starts getting like a blanket out to wrap around Velaine. Yep. Harland will warm, uh, use pressed digitation to to warm whatever clothes they're wearing. I'm just like standing frozen in the same spot. Harlan looks back and is like, he just, I mean, the lane's just, he's calming down a little bit, but he's just drained. Yeah. Paro Par isn't letting them go unless they ask them, unless they ask her to let her, let, let them go. She's pretty much just like, nope, I am going to be here for you because I can't, I was terrified. Haru was terrified that she wasn't going to bring be able to bring them back after that. Did you guys say anything? Do anything? I'm just murmuring quietly to him, like words of comfort and reassurance that he's safe, and I'm I'm not going to let that happen again. Once. If, if they're settled by the fire, Baze is going to go over to Oliet if she still hasn't come over. Still standing where you were standing? Okay. Oliet, what happened? What did you see? I might walk. I might walk. I won't go far, but I, I'm going to... If they're breathing, that's... We did our job. And I'm just going to start wandering in any direction. Down the... Like, down, down along the, the water? Beach. Sure. Sure. So you start heading down? We'll say the opposite way that Jeffren and, and Olba came from. So down the beach. Okay. Just clearing your head? Yeah. Um, well, you know. Yeah. Chewing uh, Trying. Yeah. Try, just trying to. Just trying. Just trying to process. It's getting to be early evening. The sun's starting to get a little bit low. Um, it's getting a little less blue sky. 
and uh, Jeffren and, and Holba do what, like try to do what they can. They, um, I mean, they walk the beach a lot, so um, Holba probably has um, probably has something for you know warming warming. Well, I guess you said Harlan was doing that. Harlan was like using passive digitation for that. They're they're worried. They they can ask if there's anything they can do, but they're pretty. They're just people. That they don't have anything they can really offer, except maybe some blankets. Um, and uh, um, the the clothing effect, the the warmth lasts yeah. for an hour. Okay. Um, so oh, yeah. you help for quite a bit. Well, I, I I only have to cast it like once, and it lasts for an hour. <clears throat> so I think Harlan would wander off to see if he can find all yet sure i mean it's open beach you can see her kind of wandering down the beach line so yeah you go after i don't think he'll run but he will he will walk quickly he got bigger strides than she does <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you probably can catch up um Olia, question are you trying to get out of range of the book do you still have the book on you i still have the book on me um, I just wasn't sure what the if, if there was any particular goal you had. I'm trying to not see any of this. I don't want to. I don't. I can't. Yeah. I need. I need to. Okay. So yeah, you catch up, Harlan. Oh, they're, they're doing okay. How are you doing? Uh, fine, I guess. I'm not choking on seawater, so I guess I have no complaints. Well, that, that's, that's like comparing apples and other kinds of apples. They, they might be the same fruit, but they're, they're different. Okay. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Well, why wouldn't I be? I mean, I, there, there was nothing I could do. Paro was perfectly capable of doing what she did. And you were doing what you were doing, trying to help. And, uh, Beza and I was just kind of, kind of standing there ready to do something, and I, I did what I could, and uh, Beza did what she could. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I'm concerned. I mean, yeah, I, I'd be lying if I didn't say that that was, you know. I mean, if they had been swimming and started coughing up seawater, that would have made sense because you know you're in the ocean, you might swallow some and you might cough it up but it's been a bit so that's a bit strange that's that's a bit is it strange Harlan? yes i don't think that it is why why wouldn't it be i Elaine is alone. There's something in there. Well, like, like we didn't get all the splinter. I think so. It's already infected. If that makes sense. Well, I mean. There's a couple ways to treat an infection, so maybe, I don't know, maybe finding the archive is the best way about it. Maybe we can find out some old, something to do with what's going on with them. Separating whatever, whatever it is that's taking over them and 
making it its own thing. Getting the spooner out. Maybe. How's your spooner doing? I don't know. What if I am the spooner, Harlan? Have you ever noticed that every time I help, it hurts someone? When Para does it, it's all soft and sweet. Why can't I do that? I don't know if I was trying to help. I just wanted the answers. I might not be a very good person, Harlan. I don't quite believe that. Because if you were truly a bad person, I don't think you would feel this conflicted about it. Mm -hmm. That's that's not to say that what you're feeling, I'm not trying to dismiss what you're feeling. Just from an outside observation, you have redeeming qualities. Oh, thanks. Look how you take care of Uncle Ed. I mean, I had two weeks worth of food at a time. You know, you go to the market for him and help, you know, keep keep him sorted out in his romantical life. It's fine. I mean, we can't can't do any anything about it this moment. So, oh. we should. Back, maybe. Yeah, we, we can start heading that way. Now, I do want to see. I I don't I don't know what was going on inside when you were, when you were doing that, you know, purple, purple elephants thing. Um, They let you in. They knew the risk and they accepted it. And I don't think that you need to take that particular part of that burden on yourself. Envy you. Uh, oh, okay. I wish. 
my brain works like yours. Well, well, wow, that that is definitely not a not a compliment that I would have expected to receive from uh, anyone. Highland, you are easily one of the most intelligent people that I know. Same goes for you, Shug. You, if you trust my mind, then you need to trust this. I am in lack with you. <laughs> Harlan's so good at reading the room. Just so good at it. <clears throat> if you lack my mind, then you know that I I had some assistance in in reaching the decision to mention that to you at this most inopportune time. <laughs> but you said you respected my mind, and my mind decided that it needed to be said. Uh, it... Do you... Okay. I... I'm just gonna loop my hand into his. Just stay close to me, okay? You don't gotta ask. Okay. I'm gonna just head back. Okay. As you're heading back, um... Valene is sitting up now, kind of leaning on Paru a bit. They've got a they've got a blanket around their shoulders. Um, they look very they look very like red eyed and um, tired. Haru is going to exhale slowly and let the, her little phosphorescent spores kind of drift up um, in just a really gentle, kind of soft uh, purple. Just anything that could be like a calm, soothing color, but still give a little bit of extra light since it's getting dark. Especially any color that she knows Valaine especially likes. Oh my god. Imagine phosphorescent black spores. I mean, that would look pretty dope. But it's like black light spores. Black light spores. I know I was just thinking it. <laughs> purple. It was purple and blue. Um, yeah. So he's, he's just sort of he kind of glances at them a little bit, but then just sort of stares in the middle distance, like at the fire. And unless anybody has something they really want to ask him right this moment. You all sit for a while. The sun hasn't even gone down yet, but everyone feels very, very tired. Um, 
Jeffren and Holba, they, they kind of start playing host a little bit, making tea or, you know, Jeffren makes brownies, so he's got brownies. Yeah. Now, Holba, that's an interesting name. Is that like the toast? Yeah. Uh, oh my God. You know, I've, I've gotten that a bit more than I'd like to count. Um, I'm no. just over on the other side, like. Uh, just have a brownie. You'll feel better. Well, yeah, have like will. half a brownie yeah, and you'll feel just better. Feel yeah. They're gentle. It's fine. Um, oh, Jeffrey passes out brownies. Everyone just kind of, except for the kids. Kids don't get brownies. No. <laughs> kids go to sleep, honestly. Yeah. They're tired. Um, and, uh, even Valaine takes power. <laughs> just like, yep. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. please. And you all just kind of. Despite all of my protestations during the day, I'm actually not going to eat my brownie. I'm just going to wrap it up and save it. Save it for later. <laughs> That's fair. Um, and uh, and yeah, you just all kind of. You all haven't talked yet about everything, but there are reasons some of you aren't talking. Um, and it is probably till the morning before Valine says a full sentence to any of you again. Um, the only thing that they say before kind of like fading off into very tired sleep is probably Para, you're closest, so you probably She's hear, not letting him go. <laughs> um, but he just kind of whispers choked up a little bit. feel his chest kind of hitch a little bit again. He doesn't cry, he's just kind of recovering. And night comes. And I imagine that once everybody has started drifting off, I crawl all the way into Harlan's arms. And I wait until I can hear him breathing evenly when I know he's asleep for sure. And I cry. Okay. And Beza, you have two tabaxis curled up against you, which is <laughs> nice because it, you're probably a little cold. Just <laughs> uh, <yeah. Beza>. <laughs> The kitten. <laughs> like a dad on the couch holding the yeah, baby? Yeah, basically. basically. And that is where we will that's where we'll leave off. Oof. Oof a doofa. Ouch. Ouch. That was, that was, that was, that was the plan tonight. Needed, needed Paru for the Veggie Pig Museum for that. So yeah. I'm sorry. <sighs> um, oh God, right after she leans on him for the first time to be like, this is the only way I can tell you that I like you is I'm just gonna lean on you because I have no game with, and dead. All right, great. You're not dead. All right. So, uh, thank you so much to everybody who stuck around. I know we ran a little long tonight. Um, I felt like it, it warranted letting things sort of play out rather than ending on a cliffhanger. Um, it would not have been, I don't think, good for anybody's mental health to have ended on that as a cliffhanger. Um, mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. apologies if that came 
a little out of nowhere for anybody. Um, that was me trying to be surprising. Um, but you all are incredible. Um, that's to our players and to the audience. Um, thank you guys for joining us every week and for being so respectful in chat and, and just being a generally a really positive space. So thank you. Uh, that makes me feel safe doing stuff like this occasionally. So I really appreciate it. And, uh, and yeah, so that's, that's all we've got tonight. Um, it feels really weird doing follow-up stuff, but check out our, uh, check out our chat for information about our sponsors. Um, remember if you want to, uh, Tessa, do you have any last minute instructions for um, if you want to be included in the dice giveaway, um, please either message me on Discord or on Twitter or send me a message through Twitch. Um, you can send it to the We Are Nerd Smith account or, or yes. tgirl83. Either one is fine. Um, and uh, with your guess on uh, Sherbet Tilt Howl and what that uh, unravels to be. <laughs> Uh, that, that, and then tomorrow I will uh, draw from the people who have put in their guesses and let the folks know who, who won the dice set. Thank you, Tessa. Very much appreciate you doing this. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we are shenanigans. We will be back next week with uh, chapter 24. Uh, we'll have to start addressing some of the things that came up tonight. Um, and maybe a trip across the water. We'll have to see how things shake out. Um, we all... <laughs> Mitch, Mitch, Aww, I Mitch. feel like you did that. Oops. I feel like you did that on purpose, Mitch, but who knows. Um, <laughs> I just want you to always come in at the end and be like, I'm finally here. I'm oh, sorry, Mitch. You can watch it on VOD, though. It's going to be available immediately, so go ahead. Yes, um, yes. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Love you, Mitch. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yes. so, uh, yes, um, we will be in the spoilers section of Shenanigans tonight because of some of the stuff happening. Yes. Um, if you need to decompress or anything like that, some of us will be in the chat so we can just all hang out and commiserate and such. Um, and that's all I got for tonight. Please join us here. Um, I'm, I'm here tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, finishing up the damn map <laughs> that everybody saw tonight. Um, they will have two versions of that map. One will have the um, all of the cities and things, and, and at least a general sense of what's around. Uh, and then the... The other one will have all that stuff, but with the chaos rifts uh, oh, superimposed on top. Chaos, um, yes. So you'll get to see two versions of the map, and uh, and yeah, so you'll um, you'll get to see that. So it'll be just be running for an hour tomorrow. Um, I've got another devastating D and D to do tomorrow, um, <laughs> privately though, uh, and we'll see you here next week Tuesday at. 7 p.m. Pacific to 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, you can follow us here on Twitch or on Twitter at the same URL. Uh, we are Nerdsmith. And if you liked what you saw tonight and you want to support us, help us pay our artists and pay our performers, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. uh, you can support us at Patreon, patreoncom nerdsmith. Uh, you support all of our shows, but uh, we here also um, appreciate it. So thank you. Um, and have a safe week, please. Uh, make good choices. Be safe. Have a happy week. Get get poked in the arm if you can. Mine's tomorrow. Uh, woo! Woo! Later then we'll all be able to virtually continue playing D and D together. Can't wait. I got poked a month ago. I'm good to go. Hey. Um. Sorry, Harlan has left my brain in the gutter. Um. So <laughs> Uh, you all have a wonderful evening. Uh, please uh, go drink some tea or something. I don't know. Mm, tea. Go relax. Go hug a pet. Go. Yeah, go mm -hmm. pet a pet. Have something um, soft. Yeah. Drink something sweet. Um, but uh, as I said, uh, have a safe week. Um, and above all, do me a favor. 
and be good to each other. Thank you. Good night, and to be continued next week. Good night. Good night, beautiful.